Pops coming to you live from the mean streets of Neo Chicago one final time. I am Officer Kevin. This is finally the episode where I get evicted. Yeah. Well, I'm Officer Grant. We don't need the space anymore. This is a podcast studio. You don't need to be here anymore. Uh, we didn't know how long we were going to record for, and my girlfriend was like, uh, Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, duck out for a couple hours. I'm gonna go hang out with a friend instead of like hang around the apartment, whatever. Listen to us uh, do this, and uh, she would have been she would have been through the roof right now. She would have flown through. There would have been a a woman shaped a hole in the ceiling of the apartment. You know that actually, I would have had to explain that to the landlord. He wouldn't actually, be happy about the, that. The landlord would be like, "Oh, that's great! Now, like, a bunch of people can come by and like throw coins in there." Oh yeah, offer, no, that's that's really you funny. know. Well, the Chicago girl hole. Uh, that came out wrong. Jesus Christ! All right, off to an well, awful uh, start. I actually, I I thought about like I was going to pitch this idea to you. Yeah, I was like, what if we did a cold open from the Chicago rat hole? And then I think by the time I thought about it, I'm like, this is already like incredibly unfunny. Yeah. So I'm fine if people want to have fun fine. with it, but uh, I I was kind of immediately bored with it. But I saw the the guy that uh the guy that discovered the rat hole. Yeah, uh, he didn't really discover it, but he's the one that uh, tweeted about the Chicago rat hole first. That then turned it into a viral uh, sensation uh, that had people getting married um in front of it and whatnot. Uh, he made a video where he was like. Yeah, man, I don't know if uh, if this type of stuff didn't happen, the news would just be like a body count. And so like, shut up and enjoy it. And so I'm trying to. I don't think it's funny, but I'm I'm trying not to talk too, too negatively. Yeah, I'm going to let people go there, waste their hard earned money, throwing pennies in the hole. Couldn't be me, but Whatever. you know what? Enjoy if it. People want to do it. it. They want to do their little memes. That's I, fine. I saw somebody tried to fill the hole up. Yeah. Somebody tried to fill that hole. Well, and then after someone tried to fill it, uh, someone else came by and unfilled it. But yeah. then someone made a mold of it so that, like, no matter what happens, there will always be a backup. Thank you. Speaking God. of backups, if this, if this final recording of Thought Cops, if we somehow fuck it up, if it's unsalvageable in some way, uh, I am going to kill myself. Oh, my God. Yeah, that would suck. Um, let's just fucking let's just try our best today. This is the final episode of Thought Cops. Can you believe it, Grant? Sorry, was that? that was slime. You had your turn, buddy. Now we'll we'll get Not to you yet. in a second. This is going to be a wonderful call in episode. We're going to hear from uh our our friends, our listeners, everybody in between. Uh, is going to come in here, tell us how great we did for so long. Right. How the show has changed their lives. I looked forward to it every every Tuesday morning or Wednesday morning or Thursday or whenever we got it out. And it was the, the my favorite notification to get on my phone. That it was out? Yeah. Ooh, new episode with... Uh, was Slime. It? Slime to Garbage Main. Slime okay. to Garbage Main. New episode with Aaron Klopfer. New episode with uh, Ken Bone. They got Ken Bone on Thought Cops? Crazy. What the fuck? Yeah, I'm going to listen to that. Uh, I will say it is... It is weird that it's like I do think that um we uh we started recording this not only seven years ago, but around basically the same time. It was in February. Yep, yep, yep. It was like around the time of uh the Super Bowl, which is next weekend. And I think one of the first episodes we were talking about, like Lady Gaga, Alex Jones was screaming that Lady Gaga was a uh something She's i overweight. don't know it doesn't I, matter she was she was overweight spilling out of her uh, too tight of a pants and also that she was a uh, satan so yeah uh alex jones there's a guy you don't hear from that much anymore he's back on twitter okay so i don't see him uh and then we also were talking about it we got a brand new president back then if you remember this oh yeah donald trump was just uh elected i have i have a whole thing about sort of where I feel uh, about having done this show over these past uh, seven years or so, um, and it, it's it's weird. I don't I don't know. I mean, I guess I guess I have to get into it 
because well, you started talking about it. So well, and because I can't just save it for later because there's not going to be a later. The only way I think that there's going to be a later is if we do um the Evangelion thing. Is that how you say that TV uh, show? You know that's incorrect. I know um, you know that's incorrect. The only you know how like it, the show ended what like thirty years ago, and then they're like, yeah. hey, but guess what? New movie just came out. Evangelion number four back to birth or whatever the newest more one is less. titled more or less. uh and it's just like oh y'all are still making these maybe there will be a fake ending of thought cops seven years from now where we just uh pop in we go ah and then we pop back out uh i don't i don't know but um yeah i guess everything has to uh everything has to be said now i get my my thought process for this would was uh since we typically try to end the show on a um on a positive note we always do key to the city uh, got it right here one the city that everyone that called in and i guess us included you know if you want to uh that we would all do uh a key to the city for uh for going out um, as a way to sort of wrap up a uh wrap up the show that i feel like was purposefully kind of you know maybe a little bit entrenched in negativity and uh refresh it with some positivity and uh so yeah yeah i I feel like this is gonna this is this is almost full circle in the way that i feel like i'm gonna be very throughout this entire episode i'm gonna be very uh like uh, spaces in between words you know, you know when you first start podcasting and you're like, "Oh, you should be talking all the time and there should be no spaces and whatever." Yeah. I feel like I'm going to be doing the spaces on this one. That's fine. That's it's hard fine. it's I hard mean, to not cuz it's like, "Whoa, I got to say everything. Everything I haven't said, I got to say it all right now." And then you go, "Oh fuck. Oh shit." Well, that's what happens when you take a break for a little while. You're like, "Oh, yeah, yeah you know, maybe that's it." Constantly be too. blabbing my fucking mouth off the yeah. whole time. Yeah uh dramatically in the chat we're we're on discord right now that's how we'll be taking uh we'll be taking calls on discord uh dramatically says uh thought cops has been the documentation of grant's mental decline kevin's too yeah give him some credit yeah come on it's not just grant we're both we're both woo, going down no i'm just kidding you know things are things are uh you know things are just changing in life things are changing in the world um thought cops may be ending but you know we have our own endeavors we're working on moving forward um i think like maybe some people saw we were ending the show and thought like oh i don't want to you know i don't want them to just go away yeah we're not dying unless not to my knowledge unless we lose all of the audio that we're recording right now uh if we lose this episode i will kill myself that this will for sure be the end but this yeah no uh we're not we're not just going away we'll still be around we're still in this discord we're still on everything I would like to get back to making more TikTok videos. I haven't done that in months, you know, essentially since we said, hey, we're going to, you know, we're going to stop doing Thought Cops and whatever. Like, I haven't been doing anything of, yeah. you know, it's it's hard. I feel like, um, you know, a big issue with so much stuff nowadays is the uh, the the hustle culture, the grind culture. Uh, we've talked about it before. Uh, there's nothing new to be said on it, but it sucks and you get burnt out. And then, you know, you're you're uh, you're texting, you know, your best friend back and forth like, hey, uh, do we end the show this week? And you just sort of like ignore it for a while. And then you go, oh, uh, maybe uh, what are you doing <laughs> next week? And then you do that for three months. And uh, yeah, eventually you get around to it. But it's like I think the burnout is real. And I would like to be a little more refreshed in my life, yeah. you know, yeah. before starting something else. You know, I mean, it's just I don't know, like. A lot of people are, are moving away from the weekly content mill of like anything like YouTube. It's podcasting. hard. I don't know how we did it's it for tough. so long. It's I, really I know. Hard. It's insane. But like, I fucking loved it. You know, I have really, really enjoyed doing the show. Um, you know, there, I had, you know, I don't know. I, there's been a lot of like uh, turbulence and uh, troublesome times over the last seven years for me personally. But like, coming in here, clocking into the show, turning that switch on. You know, it was something I could always count on. It was something I could like, you know, put myself into, um, distract myself, uh, or whatever, just be productive and feel good about something. And that right. was what this show has been for a long time for me. Um, and I think that that changed, and I think that you just got to change with it. Yeah. 
you know yeah. that's that's really i think what it comes down to and there's there's so much of it like uh i don't know i've, I've talked about this before but it's like um you know fucking uh this is it this is where the space happens why am i not like present for this you know why am i like mentally i feel like i'm just all over the place um because there's there's so much to talk about and so so little time um i i totally blanked Ke- kevin what were you talking about what were you saying oh all the good times we've had on all the good times all the we've had times. oh shit i mean it's also you know I, w- I was thinking too like it's weird because um i feel like a lot of like quite a lot of my friends i feel like knew me after i started this podcast right so it's like without the podcast you know am i am i of use to them anymore and i'm just <laughs> no i i think like in the just marketplace because, like, oh yeah you know he's got that podcast he does he, he this is that's his thing and now i don't you know no not anymore now now who are you is the big question yeah you no more podcast that uh no more writing for that one website no drama there don't look into it um yeah i just this is just you know i i hope that uh i don't know i i'm just i'm I'm glad people have enjoyed it for so long but it's weird because it has been such a big part of like you know my life and like who i am i know that's like silly to say in some regard but it's like you know i you do something like every week for a long time i mean up until the last year i think less than a year it's been kind of like yeah a little bit more turbulent but um well and it's it's also been like i think that last year is sort of what ended up just sort of like hey what do we do with this what do we you know how do you keep it fresh how do you whatever yeah. and when you go oh i can't keep it fresh anymore or whatever but i know what you mean and i th- i remember what i was gonna get back to which is like you know i used to be more into like music and stuff like that and for a long time it's like i did that that was sort of part of my identity and then i kind of fell away from that and that became a thing where it's like okay well what's the next thing and the next thing ended up being this and then yeah sort of like you're saying it like it becomes a part of your identity it like consumes you in a certain way it it like becomes this big part of your life and then you can take that part of your life and like show it to people and again the idea that like hundreds or thousands of people i don't i don't know exactly how many people we've reached throughout the years and how many people follow us and stuff like that um but then it does become like oh this is like what you are showcasing to people and this is what people sort of get from you yeah. and i think in a way that's that's sort of like good because it's like i feel like we did a lot of stuff with this that i am proud of and i also feel like there were times when it was like I don't know how to talk about things or do things outside of this sort of thing and like how limiting that could be. And again, I think that kind of just goes back to like, what, what am I trying to do with this? Is this, you know, is this helping? Is this like hampering what, what it is I'm trying to get to? Uh, I don't know. This is, this is coming off like is way more rambly than I intended, but it is like, yeah, it's, I don't know. It, it It's a thing and I'm, I'm also kind of like looking forward to moving on to something else. Mm-hmm. Uh, I also got to take care of uh, my mental health, you know, and get like get away from the burnout shit and maybe like relax a little more and come back to shit like kind of fresh and like reinvigorated and not just, you know, because it, it doesn't help if you're not like taking care of yourself, taking care of your mental state. Like you can't output shit into the world if you're not doing that. And, you know. All things considered, this, this just felt like the right time. Yeah. To end the show, move on to something new. Um, whatever that. Whatever that is, we don't know. I got whatever that is. I I can't say what it is yet, but I do have uh something big coming out. Hopefully this month. Um, you know, I will be talking about it. I, you know what? Just to say, follow us on social media. If you're if you're only following Thought Cops, follow us because yeah, I'll definitely be we might talking still about use it. like the account to like yeah, retweet yeah. shit and whatever, yeah. but yeah. Um, I mean, like, I, I, yeah, I do have like a big project starting, should be up this month, but uh, so I'll, I'll let you guys know. Not exactly the same thing as Thought Cops. Matter of fact, not even close, but it's, it's something new. It's something different. It's something I'll be, uh, putting a lot of myself into, but I also intend to keep doing new things, making new content. I know we can do new stuff together. Yeah. Um, once things just sort of, uh, even out. I've worked on a couple things that I think, you know, I, I'll, I've always sort of said, like, if, if we try and do something different with Thought Cops, which now is like, it's 
going to be dead after this. But uh, I always figured like, oh, if we do something else, I would like to make more use of like us and our like weird friends, you know? And yeah. so I've been trying to keep that in mind Bunch with of these like freaks we know. some of the scripts that I've been writing. I started writing a couple things for I don't know if it would be like a YouTube video or whatever. You know, uh, we got we got Nico, we got Zwick. Uh, Nico in the chat says, "Rude, I'm not weird. I'm normal. I'm glad you uh, included yourself in that grouping because I had you in mind when I was saying that." Uh, we got Nico, we got Zwick. Zwick's the weirdest human being I've ever seen. Uh, you know, we got all these people that just sort of like surround us, and it's like there's part of me that it's like I want to do more with like the ensemble of every everyone we've oh, yeah, met, totally. you know, sort of thing. And again, I don't know what that's going to look like, but um, we'll we'll sort of see and we'll build something around that maybe or something else. And uh, yeah, I don't. It feels good to make stuff. It always feels. I feel like I don't feel good if I'm not doing something. And I don't think that's just me being a slave to like capitalism or productivity yeah. or the grind. I like making things. I like doing things. Whatever, you know? I mean, yeah, if I'm not doing, if I'm not like gearing towards I need to be doing something, I just like, I don't know what I'm doing, you know? And even that's just like, I'll work on that book that I've been like working on. I'll, I'll pretty much work on that every day. And I feel like I haven't gotten very far with it, I but gotta, I still, I, I need it. to, it I good. need to good. be doing it. I need to be working on it. I need to be writing it. Even if it just turns out I get to the end of it and I go, into the dumpster with you nobody uh you know uh i don't know it's just it's a thing you feel compelled to do um yeah i don't know if you wanted to get into a uh a fight no uh i don't know if you wanted to get into a key to the city um if you had one i gotta I, think about that i need i feel like i need a really good one I, uh, yeah let, maybe we should, I, let, let's hear from some callers i I, think. I spent a good amount of time thinking of mine um and it it was it was hard to do. I don't. Do you want to get to callers first, uh, or do we, you want me to? We could just dabble in some, come back, talk about other stuff. All you right, know, we got some um, voicemails too. We'll we'll, we'll mix who, it up. We'll mix who it up needs to call now and who's got to go? Because we got a lot of uh, slimes lot of raising folks. his hand. Let's uh, let's let's get slime in here. Yeah, let's get slime. I gotta unmute him first. Hold on. Can you hear me? Oh, okay, yeah, I gotta be yeah hello. Boys. You're on the air, sir. I gotta be completely frank. I'm embarrassed to admit I forgot this was happening. Uh, I oh, am okay. in the back seat of an Uber in beautiful Toronto, Ontario, Canada, uh, where I was sent for a work conference to go to come back tonight at 9 p.m. And I am now um, delayed till Wednesday at the earliest to go home. And uh, my coworker was nice enough to hot stop me. Is Wi-Fi? Yeah, it's tweak, bro. There's like a massive, uh, like snowstorm happening back home right now, so we're all fucked. But oh man, that sucks. It's gonna be fifty here this week, but uh, Woo! well, yeah, good, good, good. You know what's funny? Toronto, um, is like worse Chicago. That was the resolution I came to whenever I was walking around. It was like if it had none of the architecture or personality, it's like what yeah. people think the Midwest that's, is until they actually go. That's uh. That's a lot of places, actually. Worse oh, Chicago. That, you could like, you could apply that to most of Middle America. Um, but yeah. I wanted to say I, uh, I it's been a bit of Deus Ex Machina because my my coworker Matt uh, graciously hotspotted me his Wi-Fi. I opened Discord. What do I see? The beginning of the Final Thought Cops episode. Ooh, beautiful! I can't beautiful. believe it, boys. You made it. What a run! It's like thank you, slime. Yeah, it's a. Uh, I don't know. I'll keep it brief, and I don't want to talk too much about myself because this is your special moment for you boys. But yeah, Thought Cops hey. has had a legitimate, long-lasting, tangible impact on my life. You both become dear friends of mine. I literally, uh, yeah, went to the city of Chicago to be with you guys, and uh, there's very few people. And we have it on video yes, for forever. We do. There's video footage of us hanging out. I'm glad we got that. Like. Yeah. We we I, I'm we're sliding down to the la to the last like few episodes. He was going to be in town. We got to get slime. Yeah, yeah, we got him. I remember for a while. So, yeah, like you were throwing rankings at dudes that like had racked up thought cops appearances. Like there was like Gumshoe, Detective, whatever. I I am an oh, attorney yeah. in yeah. all of thought cops. I am like I'm, <laughs> Hell I'm, yeah. I'm a brigadier of the thought cops, dude. I'm I'm king shit. Yeah. As far as that comes. Um. Hey, you can run the department when we leave. I already. Or, we won't be using it. Known. I've been I've been running the precinct um but yeah uh 
thank you so much for doing what you do. If you didn't run this show, uh, we would not be friends and my life would be uh, significantly worse as a result. Uh, so I'm very glad and blessed to have you had you both in my life and Nico and Josh and everybody from Chicago, Neo Chicago. And uh, yeah, we're all looking forward to what's happening next. I know I am. Well, thanks, man. I appreciate Thank you. that. Appreciate uh, yeah, it. I feel Same like... goes for you also. Yeah. yeah, absolutely, brother. So that's my key to the city. I'll take it out of any, everyone else's house oh, before you. they ev- can even try. I'm doing it first. My key to the city is to the top. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's fair. Thank you. There um, it is. Thank you, Slime. Yes, Thank yes, you so sir. much. I'm going to keep listening for as long as I can. But uh, yeah, carry on, folks. Thanks so much. All, All right, right. Well, ride, ride safely. Uh, we'll talk to you soon. And talk thank you. you again. I will do so, brother. All right. Bye. Wow. All right. Well, he got it first. You guys can still... He doesn't listen. He doesn't have to be the only one who gives us the key to the city. Anyone can do it. Anyone can do as it. As many times as possible, if if necessary. Anyone can do it, but also, y'all don't have to. No. Uh, I don't want this to be a uh, essing the Ds of the TCs uh, show. Uh, you know... Uh, Seriously, I, I think one of the one of the things that we tried to do with the key to the city is also like promote people that, you know, oh, check this guy out. Like, yeah, check yeah. this out. Like, whatever. Talk about something that's something, you know. And uh, so if there if there's something on here that you want, like, oh, hey, everyone read this book. It changed my life. Everyone watch this movie. It changed my like whatever, whatever it is. Uh, you know, uh, feel free to bring that in. It doesn't have to be like, oh, the thought cop. So no, the no. rat hole, like we get it, but also like, you know, we're not going to stop you though. For the record, we're not going to stop you if you want to, uh, let's take somebody else. Let's get somebody else. In uh, I was going to say Nico, but she said BRB. Um, why don't we, Asterios said, I got a key to the city, but I'm not in a hurry. Why don't you come in here, Asterios, if you want? Just yeah, unmute he's been, yourself. He's been waiting so patiently. Yeah. Hello, can you guys hear me? We can hear yes. you. How's Hello. it going? Happy g- goodbye to the thought car. Oh my God, this is so sad. <laughs> oh, man. I'm genuinely emotional. You guys have uh, been doing this show for so long, and it's been such a great show. Now, it, look, I'm not going to give you guys like the key it, to this city. I don't think you've earned it. But I am just, I just want to say, like, really That's good fair. job. It's like you've built a nice community and you've made such a wonderful show. And uh, and look, I was thinking, I was li- I listened to every episode of Thought Cops before I, I called in for this one to make sure wow. that this had never been done. Wow. No one has ever given the key to the city to this person. So I am giving I'm nervous. the final Thought Cops key of the city to santa claus oh my god that's you're right i'm, I'm glad we got that under the wire Asterios. thank you because oh, santa claus is really the true mvp he brings our presents every year uh if we're good and even if you're not like here's the thing i like about santa claus at some point you stop believing in santa claus okay like you get older but you can like bluff your way through another year or two of the extra gift. Like, here's, that's the thing about Santa Claus. He's like an extra gift, like how Mega Man has, like, the E-Tank. He's like, it's just, it's always great to know that, like, Santa will come through with something. And so I remember being young and being like, no, I st- I hope Santa brings me a Nintendo this year. Yeah. Santa Claus, who I definitely believe in still. And it's like, they don't have a choice. They don't know. Yeah. Yeah. I sorry. I, I I was just thinking about like all the presents I want already. It's only February. I'm already thinking about what presents I want next year. I don't. I don't want to start a fight. I'm. I'm done with consumerism, man. I don't. I don't got. I don't want gifts no more. Really? Yeah. You I don't want them. Zelda game. Yeah, I'll take his. Actually, never mind. I you <laughs> changed my mind. Yeah. I I, well, I think it's also like when you when you have a job and you can buy your own presents. Yeah, who gives a fuck? That's all I do. That's well, I just you buy don't myself have stuff, and then people are like, "What do you need?" And I'm like, "Nothing." Yeah, I'm white in America. I don't need anything. I I've been given too much. I'll take his video games. What about a Steam Deck Ooh. or an OLED Steam Deck? That'd yeah. be nice. That's cool I did, stuff, guys. I did get uh for for Christmas. My girlfriend got me uh one of those RG thirty five XX pluses, and I've been playing um Mother three on it, and it's great. It's like a little Game Boy, but anything you want, it's on there. It's great. And you weren't like take it back. I don't deserve it. I'm 
I'm white. I'm a, I'm a American. Get it away from me. No, I mean, I took that. I'm, okay. I'm see the thing about being white in America is uh, you also get to be a hypocrite and nobody says anything to you. So that's, that's, that's right. Yeah. yeah. And that's the reason for the season, folks. <laughs> Santa Claus, you give him the key. Come yeah. on, they're gonna die. Hey, where is he that thing at? Yeah, let's... for us in our childhoods. I just Unless, don't want to. We had like a terrible childhood where like we didn't get gifts. I remember one time I was at a strip club and I asked a stripper like, "What was the best Christmas gift you ever got?" And she was like, "I really didn't get gifts as a kid." And I was like, "Jesus, oh, right. right?" Making small talk at the strip club. I saw. <laughs> I was. I. It's always fun to talk about Santa Claus. All right. Well, that's it for me. Thanks, guys. Merry Christmas. Well, hold on, everyone. hold on, Asterios. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> hold on. Get back in here one second. I just want to say okay. I'm so glad that we met you because of this show. I remember, yeah. I remember the first time we met you in person. We saw you at a. Uh, a I live... remember being like, "Wow, Asterios' face is a lot bigger than I imagined," and it was. <laughs> yeah, it's like one of the. It's like one of the puppets from Farscape. <laughs> It's like, like not uh, just a regular Muppet, one of like the highly realistic, darkly lit Farscape puppets. Uh it it's it's uh fucking uh booster from Super uh <laughs> Super Mario RPG. That's right. That would be a I, I want to see that cosplay. I want yeah. I need to see that cosplay. Well, let's all let's all go to a convention sometime together. But Asterios, yeah, we met you. We're like, hey, we're, we just started the podcast. Do you want to be on it sometime? And he's like, yeah, sure. And that was that was uh, one of the most fun episodes. Uh, was Asterios just walking around New York as like cars are like blaring in the background? Yeah. Like, what was that? Uh, oh, I'm just walking. Yeah. Oh, like where where time. are you, Asterios? Grand Central Station. I remember that. <laughs> I remember that. I remember one time I was like on a work call or something. <laughs> and a guy almost uh, hit me. I was, I was, you know, I'm just talking. I'm walking. I'm talking on this work call. And a guy almost hit me with his car. And I start screaming like, hey, you almost <laughs> killed me. I'm a human being. You, what, if, what if you had taken my life? What, because you're not paying attention? What are you going to say sorry at my funeral? And then I realized I had not muted the call. <laughs> also the car the car was probably long gone by the time you finished that oh no i stopped in front of the car to like excoriate oh, the car okay okay good for you good for you more yeah. people need to do that i would do it but i'm i'm afraid that i'm gonna get hit so i'm afraid you it. know what did you hear what happened uh at uh logan theater recently yeah, yeah. somebody there was they were doing a screening of uh weird al's uhf um, this is a theater I've a, been a to. A great feel-good movie. Yeah, I've been to this movie theater many, many times over the years. And uh, somebody was talking during the movie, and they got shushed, and they pulled out a gun. And they... Yeah, I'm afraid to it. leave my house anymore. It's C cool. You know, when, when I thought... When we started the podcast seven years ago, I wasn't afraid to leave my house. And, uh, and now I am. So. Yeah. I... It's just like... People, it's already like I like going to the movie theater. I like sitting in the the big dark room with the nice sound and the big yeah. screen. I hate when people talk. It's fun, right? But I do go. Shh. I do shush them. Mm. Now I can't do that anymore. Yeah. Can't do that anymore. Oh, you'll get canceled with a gun. Yeah, that's um, the worst kind. Yeah, so, I mean, similar thing happened. Uh, do you remember the Icon Theater that was like over by me? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, like what? I don't know what day or what time it was, but like one day we weren't going to be there or whatever, but I don't know if we were like looking for like a movie to see or whatever, but it was like, oh yeah, like outside one of the theaters, someone's gun just went off. Like, and it's like, oh, cool. Like, you know, again, it's, it's kind of good that in Chicago, we don't have to worry about like really like mass shootings don't really happen. It's like drive bys. It's like just gang, minor ones, gang occurrences, stuff like that. But no one, no one really comes into like a theater to like light the place up. Like that doesn't really like happen here, here. Uh, but well, you know, attitude. you, you hear, you hear that sound go off. You hit the deck. Like that's horrifying. And that's what happened. Yeah. yeah everybody yeah. dropped to the floor as weird. Al was singing his parody of, uh, what's that fucking, uh, uh, country jam what a fucking whatever. awful movie to pull a gun and i was oh my god i was sitting there thinking okay you know who's in that movie michael richards mm. he would have that you know oh you're talking during his movie oh you better be quiet 
Let's not go any further with that. Or he'll um, hang you from a tree. Okay. <laughs> rude, of course. His no. words. His words. His yeah. words. Well, not, that's not, fair. I yeah. mean, I my my very first thought was like, who goes to UHF packing Heath? Well, like someone. The so the weird, down. the weird thing about that particular instance is people got his license plate number and then he, he, he left his cell phone. He left his cell phone and they oh. haven't found him yet. Gee, and uh, sleep science, aka Josh in the chat, uh, you can't you can't uh, say that I said this. This is not libel coming from my part. Um, but, uh, this is maybe liable coming from Josh's part because yeah. I got this information from him, but he said, maybe it was an undercover police officer. Totally possible. They do stuff like that. I have no personal experience with anything like that, but they do do stuff like that. So, well, well, listen, off you know, duty, not undercover. You know what the fuck I mean? Shut up. No, Don't be pedantic. I mean, not you, Asterio. Sorry. The, the man in your saying. head. I mean, yeah, the man in my head, Josh, who I'm reading his text. Oh God! I mean, look, if there's anyone who would who would go too far with power and then not be called on, and they would be a member of the police. But you know what that uh, crazy guy's uh, uh, favorite the scene from UHF was? What's Conan that? the Librarian? Because when people talk, you'll remember Conan the Librarian. He chops him in half with that sword. So yeah. maybe it was like a bit where he was like, huh, huh, shushing people, using excessive force to shove people, Conan the Librarian, huh? That's good. It really depends on what part of the movie it was. And I, I genuinely am curious. Like, I wish I knew somebody who was there so I could ask. And they're like, I don't want to talk about it. It's kind of a sore <laughs> yeah, subject. Yeah. No, just tell me what part of the movie. And, uh, Asterios, we're going to let you go. Thanks so much for calling in. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for everything. You were the first, you know, big big guest we had on the show or right. bigger piece it wasn't just me it wasn't just grant it wasn't just joe schmo off the street yeah. uh you graciously agreed to uh spend your time with us and if you never did that a lot of people never would be listening to the show it's today true a lot of people came to the show because of Asterios, and then we built up from there so thank you so much i mean if you guys don't remember the conan the librarian bit you can just say it like if you don't remember what I'm writing, I remember it. Yeah, I don't remember it. I I haven't seen the movie oh. in a while. Okay, it's the perfect. Thing but I'll reference. rewatch it. It's no, it was a, it's a great somebody, reference. It's it was literally great. somebody using violent. <sighs> All right, goodbye. See you, right. Asterios. Okay, thank you, Asterios. So we got two people who want to get in here real quick. Uh, we, I know we have we maybe three. We have Cheesy Manfredo. Klopfer says he's on lunch. Uh, Nico says, "Let clop on." Why don't we do Cheesy Man Fredo? Because he was in. Yeah, here first. yeah. Let's 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 get the cheese man. All right, I'm there in. he is. How you doing, Hello. Cheesy? I'm doing good. Just a little a little teary eyed to hear the podcast is ending. Ah, uh, me too. Me too. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, it's been a it's been a wild ride. It has truly been a wild ride. Um, not my first uh, podcast funeral though. Yeah, yeah, this is... Might be my third one. Your wow. third one? Yeah. That's tragic. Oh, my God. They tend to they tend to end usually when I guest, and then a couple episodes later, they end, I notice. Yeah, that's kind of funny that you were You were, you on... were first on, what, like a year ago? Yeah. So, was not it? not that quickly. Well, he was on twice in the last year of the show when we had to go on hiatus, and he came back. And, you know, okay, some things are starting to add up here, actually. Yeah, I, I think was, I'm starting to see what happened. I was on twice on the Pizza Party podcast, and they then they soon ended right after. And then I was on like five times on the on the PCP, and then they ended. So, um, I don't know. Maybe maybe there's a connection there. Maybe there's a conspiracy there. <laughs> I mean, wait. Oh no! You didn't call into Mega Strange, did you? That was that just Mega Sixty Four? Um, th didn't wasn't it like it? It was their street. Like didn't they call it? A Mega I want to count that episode? one. Yeah, it was. It was just Derek and Johnny from Mega Strange uh -oh. on the podcast, and you called in, and then they uh, ended the show. Oh, true. Damn. Well, yeah. I'm starting to see some really disturbing patterns here. Podcast. Well, how killer. you doing, Jeezy? How how's it going? I've been doing. I've been doing pretty good. I've been um, surviving, thriving. Uh, yeah. Just. And try not to be broke just like everybody else i think we yeah all yeah relate to that it's yeah like, i don't i don't want to fucking spend too much time but yeah the the whole fucking like uh like we mentioned like asterios is coaching all of us on how to get a job and shit because uh none of us have fucking jobs right now and it's uh it's been i i'm still like working but like 
it sucks. The economy sucks right now. The job market sucks. Everything sucks. Uh, I never thought I would have been in this bad of like economic turmoil, but here I am. And like, uh, you know, I think that's also part of the reason we've been having a hard time scheduling shit is because it's like, oh, I've been spending all my time applying for jobs. Priorities. It sucks. Yeah. yeah. Living the dream. No, I I gotcha. how, how you been, man? What have you been up to? Well, living the dream. <laughs> um, I, I mean, I have a job, but it's not even like that sunny on the other side, to be honest. Everyone else that I know has jobs is getting like less hours at work now, you know? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. And it's like, yeah, it's like, oh, great. I, it's you know, it's not even fucking enough anymore. Yeah, yeah. But um, besides that, uh, I'm, positive, I'm good. But yeah, other than that, yeah. Um. That's good. Uh, do you have a key to the city? Do I? Do I have a key to the city? Okay. Um, yeah, something. Something nice. I, something I didn't. Cool. Something. I didn't do my research about who didn't get a key to the city, but I'm gonna take a wild Doesn't guess. Matter. There probably is a character out there who deserves it. I'm gonna say, uh, Batman, maybe. I okay. don't think that's been done. Yeah. So we're think. doing we're doing a fictional characters is the theme of this episode. <laughs> Batman? Yeah, what's oh, next, wait, uh, Jesus up. Christ! Wait, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> I wait. tip my fedora to you. Oh, wait, you can't, I take you it back. Can't Not cancel Batman. us now because we're um, canceling ourselves. I want to do Godzilla instead. Can, have you ever given the key to the city to Godzilla? Uh, I don't. Maybe. Actually, probably. Probably. Yeah. Probably. Brandon Kirkman has done that. Yeah. Damn. Like probably more than once, actually. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Never mind. No, I'm you can do Batman. Back. You can do Batman, though. That's that's fine. Okay, I, I had a Godzilla on the mind, like I usually do. But uh, Batman's cool, too. Yeah, He's chill. Yeah, Batman, Batman's right. pretty chill. I think Aaron Klopfer is on his lunch break, and he has like four minutes. Uh, do you have anything else? Uh, no, well, I, I I just like to say that um, do you, 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 I, I've been enjoying the podcast. I'm not going to lie. You guys have been kind of a, a little inspiration for my podcast. Um, okay. I remember, oh, glad to hear. Yeah, I remember taking, uh, I took the the idea of like, um, the Google Doc. Everyone yeah. loves our Google <laughs> Doc. The Google Doc, no. Um, the fucking, uh, what's the fucking bad version of the key to the city when you arrest someone? What the fuck Two minutes of hate. Yeah. Yeah. I, we, we, did, we, we did our own version of that where we like cancel someone at the end of every episode. Yeah, um, and we kind of stole that from other shows and whatever, too. Okay, well, so, I'm going to... It's the gift that keeps on giving. I'm going to pretend I didn't hear that. So Yeah, I'm going to pretend that I also forgot. It, it was a Thought Cop original that one i mean it's yeah. we did do our own thing with it so, we did you know. yeah you know what we we perfected the format of podcast yeah mm -hmm. true yeah and you gotta you gotta stop while you're at the peak right basically pretty much yeah yeah, yeah that's it yeah, yeah. Basically. all right well i appreciate you guys and i look forward to uh, whatever else we got cooking in the oven so thank you cheesy yeah. it's Thanks, uh it's been great getting to know you it was great co-writing that comic with you if you ever um, want to work on anything else let's cook. Like, let's just, make something just happen i'm always like looking for like fucking ideas go ahead just drop mm -hmm. whatever wacky premise you have in the dms it's always open for you yeah that was like one of my favorite recent memories was just like drafting that and then seeing you draw it later on was so funny <laughs> so. no it, it means great i um i love i love i love drawing i love drawing yep that's me <laughs> all right always thanks. with a pencil in his hand all thanks right for calling thanks for appreciate it thanks for having me on see you guys all right let's thank you uh let's see if we can get Klopfer in here let's get him in here hello can you hear us aaron he sent me a voicemail i can play that uh yeah is it on your phone it's, it's not on my phone he I, I don't think it went through the thought cops email let's actually okay. just double check i don't it doesn't look like it went through for some reason i'm going to play it off my phone this is going to be uh he's on his uh apple vision pro oh is that the stupid new thing that came yeah, out yeah he's got his own goon cave right there in front of his face while he's watching us that's crazy man you can you can you can eat at chili's and goon right there nobody would have any idea damn i really wanted to get him in i'm going to just try i'm going to play this in the meantime if he gets in great if not Okay, yeah, go for it. Hey guys, uh, it's Aaron Klopfer, longtime Discord member and <laughs> guest of the show. Um, I, I'm sad to hear the show is ending, but I'm also really grateful. Uh, look, I love you guys. I love the podcast. Love you I too. I just love being on it. I love the weird community you built. <laughs> However, I, every single time I've been on your show, my life has immediately gotten worse right after. I, I'm not being hyperbolic. Uh. It, that's every single time I, I talk to you guys together in the same room, my there's such a significant drop off of the quality of my life. And 
uh, my Sorry my hear. emotional health and uh, financial, just literally everything. Um, so I'm hoping once the show ends, it's going to be like a kill the head vampire kind of rule where all the other vampires will die and my my sorrows will die. Um, I think there's going to be greener pastures ahead. Um, I think so. I, I hope we all make very special content um, <laughs> separately. Um, I hope the Discord <laughs> it keeps going. Um, I don't know if it's going to be more sad or less sad if it keeps going or stops. Um, I don't know. But uh, I love you guys. I love the show. But I, I'm really happy it's it's ending. Thank you. <laughs> wow, that was that was that was heartwarming. Appreciate um, it. I'm I'm just glad to know we're changing somebody's lives for the better by ending the show. Yeah, I mean everyone's uh, like, oh, uh, your life changed me better by doing the show. He, he's saying, no. oh no, you're ending the show. Yeah, I don't. Uh, his phone doesn't seem to be working, so he isn't calling in. But I mean, that's. If that's uh, what, if that's your final message to us in in your final days, uh, you could you could have done a lot worse. Yeah. You know, I think it's working. Oh, oh my god! My hey, god. No, let's you know. Let's just uh, reiterate everything you just said. No, how's yeah, it going? Yeah, just repeat Wait, what, what you just. No, oh, oh, let's not oh. get him in trouble here. You see me? Oh my god! Look insane. I Hello. Can't, I can't see you, but I can hear you, my friend. Well, How I are can you? see you. I'm going to turn it off so I could be more respectful of this public space. One sec. <laughs> Where are you at? Are you at a sweet green? Wait. Do you hear me? Yeah. Man, we're, we're, I... we're just asking if you're in a sweet green. How do I turn off speaker? Whatever. Uh, I don't know. Um, I'm, at, uh, burrito, <laughs> I'm at Burrito Beach. Um, burrito it's a... Be are you at the airport? Isn't that like an airport place? It, I, it has the airport place energy it's right by my job and it's like a i like it more than chipotle because it, it feels like it's cheaper and the people are nicer and there's yeah um it's it's just better i'm holding a really warm burrito right now because like the air you know the airport always has like all these off-brand restaurants You're like, yeah i've never seen that before and it's only in this like specific terminal of the airport yeah crazy there's like uh what else? There's like a. We don't need to talk about this. How you doing, Aaron? Yeah, no, let's get, let's get oh, into it. No. Yeah, I'm okay. I'm gonna step out for a second so I could project like an alpha. One second. Hell yeah. Um, I'm okay. Uh, it's, I'm glad I got to call my lunch break. How are you guys doing? Uh, good. I'm Living glad. The dream. I'm glad we got to get you because I you kept saying, "Oh, I'm on lunch. Let me call in." And so I wanted to make sure that uh we could get you in before you had to go back to, you know, the the wage cuck lifestyle. Yeah, I'm, which I envy greatly, by the way. I'm a wage beta. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm glad I got to call in too. Um, it's been like a fun thing I took for granted just in Chicago. Just kind of like maybe Kevin and Grant will have me on. I'll just riff with the with the psychos that uh, all their e friends, all yeah, their yeah, all all their hey, soy, soy boys and still girls. There will still be space for it. We just got to create a new space. So you know. yeah, yeah. How about the metaverse? Ooh, no, no that is a crazy idea. Us and Asterios did that once. Uh, I don't know if it went over well. <laughs> um, oh how, how are you guys feeling? Are you holding back tears? Um, no, I thought I was going to be more sad. I feel like I'm more jumble-headed. I feel like I'm just yeah. stupider. I feel like the weight of doing this show for this many years, it's like, and we're live on air. Mm -hmm. uh, hey, everybody. Uh, what, uh, that's how I've been the whole time. Like I'm, I'm trying to, I'm trying to wrap my head around it. I wanted to have like, uh, who's the the good night and good luck guy, Edward? Oh, uh, I that made me think of the Truman I Show. Can't even fucking remember. Remember, I'm so fucking stupid right now. No, you're you're beautiful. Uh the Truman Show. Oh, thank you. Um, what was that thing Jim Carrey would say? And if I don't see you, good night and goodbye. I don't know. Yeah. Um, it's similar to that. Uh. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like Edward I Murrow. I thought I was gonna have my Edward Murrow moment where I come on and I look sternly in the camera and I go, uh, the the senator from wherever has spoken his last word and we shall not be uh infringed upon our rights to free speech and good night and good luck. And everyone goes, I, 
What a I, what a moment! I thought that that's how this episode was gonna go. No, it's and more of a Bud I'm Dwyer not so moment. fucking smart now, am I? It's not over yet. <laughs> I I definitely, I I think like, let's not rule it out yet because I I think yesterday it's like I'm in show mode now, and I feel like when I do yeah. that, my emotions turn off. But like, yeah, yesterday no, I I had this like moment where I'm like, fuck, man, it's like. This is it. It felt surreal. It was like, I, you know, I think maybe I had that moment earlier on when we were like, oh, should we just end it? And I was like, oh, I'm sad now. And I, then that was like six months ago. <laughs> I did too. But I think like seeing like, I, like when I posted yeah. the announcement for the episode, I was like, this is going to be really hard. And like, yeah, it, it definitely is. Like, I'm not going to lie. Like, I'm definitely like, you know, pretty sad about it. But like, you know, it, it is what it is. And it's like, uh, you know, you can't, Stay hung up, you know. All right, let's let's do, you know. Do you think you guys are gonna like Michael Jordan there, their Tom Brady yet, where it's like a very emotional like goodbye, goodbye, then you come back and it's gonna be worse? <laughs> Pro- we'll come we'll back s- and it definitely will be worse. Uh I don't I don't fucking <laughs> I I really the the move is forward. You yeah. Know? No, I, like, I don't mean I don't, the, know. I don't mean to harp on it. I'm not worried about you guys. No, no, <laughs> you're you're good. No. Um I agree with you, man, but it's also like, like even like I, I took an Uber here and I just was like sitting there like, man, it's like weird. Like, you know, I, this has been, I don't know. It's just like we like, uh, you know, what I'm most proud of with the show is like the, the community that's kind of built up. Yeah, around yeah. It. yeah for sure. Like I, I remember, um, uh, I was at one of the mega 64 live shows and like Garrett was like talking about how him and slime linked up for yeah, some project. Yeah. And I was, he was like, dude, was you know i met him because of like thought right, pops. and right. i've heard yeah. that from like other people and it's like not to like toot our own horns but you know that's something i am proud of like i'm happy yeah, that yeah, we were able sure. to link a lot of people up um i mean honestly way too many people that you could begin listing and i you know yeah. it's just um and i always wanted to use this as sort of a platform to like get a couple people's names out there anyway mm-hmm, yeah, and like it's like yeah. we don't have a huge amount of space to do that but like you know, if we can promote Cheesy Man Fredo, if we can promote, you know, Aaron and like what he does, if we can promote whatever that some is, some of these people, <laughs> sometimes they have bigger platforms than us. Sometimes they don't. <laughs> this fucking Celsius has got me going. Sure. Um, sure, sure. Um, and, you know, sometimes I got Celsius it is, in my eyes. No, I, um, I got uh, Celsius in my fucking uh, oh, esophagus well, right well, let's, now. We'll, we'll see what happens. Yeah, I, I'm going to hop off in a minute. Um, but you, know, right. you guys built a really cool community. Um, and I, I appreciate it. I'm honestly inspired from it, you know, creative wise. Like I definitely want to copy what you guys did in some way and like build a discord with a bunch of, bunch of weirdos, bunch of weirdos. Yeah, no, I I like, I like that. Like on Twitter, I'll just be like egg fart 420 cum face, like follows you. (laughs) And then it's just kind of like, and over time I have an emotional bond with them. And then, uh and eventually I see their face and I'm like, oh, they're actually handsome or pretty you know it's um exactly I, yeah i don't know why that was the last thing i said on here but it's gonna be that <laughs> <laughs> that's fair i wouldn't have it any other way thanks exactly. man exactly okay thanks for taking the time and thanks for being our friends and awesome. thanks for being a part of the show yeah uh it, it it's meant a lot oh man right back at you uh thanks for making my chicago uh stay a lot more a lot more fun and heartfelt and so, yeah, for sure. Because I want to say, and I'll keep it brief again at the end here. But like, I want to say, you were probably one of the uh, one of the first Chicago comedy scene people we had on the show. Yeah, yeah. Because um, we met you at an open mic and thought you were cool and funny, and then we reached out. Yeah, I and- specifically, and I've told this story before, but I remember the one time uh, we saw you performing, and uh, you you had some joke about like I can't remember what the punchline was. It was something about like the mountain goats, the mountain goats, or yeah. whatever. And like, uh, I like laughed. I think I was like either the only person that laughed at it or like yeah. I said something and you were like, oh, this guy also cries when he masturbates or so, <laughs> like something like that. And I was like, oh, that's hilarious. And yeah, then um, look at where we're at now. Yeah. Truth to power. Someone has to say, say what's what. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All well, right. Well, thank you, Aaron. We'll let you get All back right. to work. Have a great rest of your shift. Okay. Thank and, you. Um, stay safe. Yeah. <laughs> Bye guys. Good, good night and good luck. Bye. Okay. Bye, Bye, you friends. Bye. Bye. You. Uh, right, should we switch um, up and play voicemail if possible? Yeah, I was gonna say. Um, why don't we? Unless anybody else is like dying to call in exactly right now because they have a sort of like time frame 
thing or something. I'd like to switch gears a little. I also sort of, uh, what he sort of said maybe kind of inspired uh, like my key to the city that I had in mind. I don't know if you want to go that route. For sure. Yet. Yeah. Um, if you're afraid you're going to forget it, go ahead. No, I mean, unless you want to just whatever. We have no structure for this episode. See, this is why we had to Can do... You tell? Uh, Can you guys tell? This is why we had had to do, uh, you know, a Google Doc for so many years. Because this is what it's like if you don't do a Google Doc, is you just, uh, you get, you get fucking... You Dramatically says you most talk. Most structured episode yet. Wow. That's bullshit, man. And you know it. Yeah, nobody, nobody's chomping at the bit here. So yeah, I, I say right. let's, let's, uh, let's get to a voicemail. And then we'll get back to some calls. Thank you guys for being patient. Thank you for listening. Thank you for hanging out. Yeah. Uh, I was I was worried nobody was going to show up because we waited too long. So this is... And uh, then people started whoo! showing up and I was like, oh, only four people? All right. Um, I'm going to drop this into this chat. And then, you know, again, similarly, uh, y'all aren't going to be able to hear this. But if you want to play it yourselves, uh, go for it. Let's do this thing. Ugh. This is going to be also the least funny episode. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Just in general, I just what I like how much how much funny can you pack into a final episode, you know? It's uh, like ask this, Seinfeld. Yeah, it's like the Seinfeld episode. Yeah. Like that wasn't funny. It wasn't funny. But, you know, they did it because uh, you know, oh, we can get all of the characters from the show on for one final episode yeah. and that was cool you know it was kind of people, people fucking bitched about it and whatever but it's like hey you know leave them alone okay sleep science says he definitely heard that voicemail did you play it yet i haven't uh heard it yeah i don't, okay, I I guess don't he know just what was, okay let's just i don't know if he's saying something weird or if you are i'm just reading what he said but Let's just yeah. Let's hit. The I meant I thought you guys were already playing it. No, we haven't played this yet. Uh, I'm gonna play it right now. What the fuck? Dilbert Texas UHF is a bad movie. No, it's not. Okay, I uh, hear it. Yeah. Hey, solid cops. Jim from Ginkabay Play Game. Uh, I, know, I, know. Episode, I, I just want to tell you guys thank you for seven great years of content. Uh, thanks for coming on, being part of our community. Thanks for letting us be a part of yours. And yeah, yeah uh, show is going to be missed. I uh, can't wait to see what you guys have going in the future, though. So take Thank care, you, boys. Jim. Oh, man, uh, key to the sweaty. Uh, sweaty. Key to the sweaty. Okay. Key to the city. Got to go to Zwick for not only doing the producing all these years, but doing all the shorts and everything like that, and for being everyone's favorite little degenerate. See you, guys. Yeah, that's uh, that's fair that he's the degenerate. Yeah. Uh, Kevin, Kevin did those shorts, by the way. Yeah. Kevin made I, all the I did TikTok all of videos. But yeah. that's fine. No, Zwick can have the key, key to the sweaty. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'll yeah. say. Yeah. I've I think seen he's that guy. earned it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Jim. How, Thank how you so embarrassing. much. Thank you for calling in. One of the, one of our uh, uh, one of our dear friends we've also met from doing the show for so long. Drink a beer and play a game. Uh, we've done so many great crossover episodes. Uh, part of the part of our, our wonderful community here. Um, it just about sums it up, I think. Yeah. Really. Thank you, Jim. And again, more more people from you know that we've interacted with and did crossovers with it's you know yeah like like we keep sort of reiterating i don't want to beat this into the ground or anything but it's nice to know all these people i i also wanted to say when aaron was on uh and obviously he had you know work to get to and whatever but i feel like also doing the show too was kind of like a big part of like my social life in like yes. my mid to late 20s also was because, uh, you know, it, after fucking COVID happened and after the lockdowns and then, you know, we try to get back to doing in-person episodes and one of us would get sick and then the other of us could get sick and we were doing a lot more like video, whatever. And to an extent, it's like the video helps because then it's like we can get more guests on from further away and stuff like that. We started doing more Zoom uh, Zoom calls and stuff like that to to link up with people and stuff. And that was cool. Uh, but I, I also forget that like towards the beginning, there was just like every single week, just a rotating cast of weirdos entering my apartment, mm -hmm. which like, you know, I, I feel like nowadays it's like, I just, I don't get out as much anymore. I don't go places anymore. And I'm like, what the fuck was I doing 
you know, in my 20s that I feel like I was around people so much more. And it's like, oh, yeah, I was just inviting strangers (laughs) to my apartment every single fucking weekend. And like, there's part of that that like, you know, I don't know, future iteration of thought cops or whatever we end up doing. And like, I would like to do more of that in some capacity. It's just like, I got to be around people more. I got to hang out with people more. You know, your social ties to to people and stuff like that. It's like you appreciate the aspect that it's like, yeah, we get these weird named people that you see their fucking stupid face pop up on your phone and in the form of a of a notification every day and whatever. And it's like, that's cool. But also it's like, how many like weird people did we meet that we were just like, hey, want to swing by and do an episode sort of thing? And like, that was, you know, cool, too. And I, you know, you forget that because up until... 2020 we were doing that pretty friggin often. yeah dude you know? i i will say like you know i know we've moved on that apartment sucked i yeah i really miss those days yeah i really miss like being in that you know apartment it's like hey what floor are you on the fifth one is there an elevator right. no exactly. you gotta walk up all the stairs and you get up and by the time you even start the episode you're out of breath yeah you and, know you know it, so, it, it was so many people just didn't understand the appeal of that when i would be like oh i live on a field and people would be like oh like isn't that awful and it's like yeah but like that's what's fun like sometimes things that are fun are just terrible i don't think you know? everybody will agree with that statement grant but i know that you do and that's yeah fine. yeah and you know i'm i'm correct so they can you know deal with it do you feel like your legs have like atrophied since you start? Like now you have? Do you have? Do you use the elevator still, here or do you I, use the stairs? I still work at a gym, but do you use the stairs here or the? Um, no, I use the elevator. Okay, I'm also, you, I'm not. Do you feel biking, it's made a difference? I'm not biking to work anymore, which is that's probably the biggest difference, to be honest. Okay. Uh, okay. Let's let's bring a caller in here. Who wants to get in here next? Um. I could, I could Should we do somebody. one more? So we have four voicemails. Should we do one more voicemail? Let's let's wait on that. We okay. have uh, I O Netrunner wants to get in here. Okay, and let's um, bring him in. I O Netrunner of the the Garf cast. Here, let me. Uh, I think I got to give you another. Well, I got to give you a guest role, and then let me drop you down to here. Fuck, man, I missed Discord news. You know what? That was one of the best parts of the whole show. Was like saying dumb shit in the Discord, and then wondering if they're going to make fun of me. <laughs> Yeah. All right. Hello. Hey, guys. How's it going? <laughs> hey, how's it man? going? How's it going? Pretty good. I just want to get right into it. My key to the city is the Thought Cops Discord. Oh, thank you. Uh, no, not Discord. Discord. Okay, okay. <laughs> Still, thank you. Yeah, I love it. I mean, obviously, like you guys were saying, we did the Discord news. Uh, I met, you know, some great friends here. Uh, yeah. Yosef mm-hmm. and uh, Sleep Science. You know, I play mm-hmm. D&D with Sleep Science now. You know, like we... Hang out outside of this Discord. Uh, yeah, it's been that great. Rules. Had a lot of fun in here. Met some great people. Appreciate it. And appreciate all that you've, you know, done, uh, you know, in the early days and whatever. You've been there for a yeah. long time for us. You did the Discord news, which was a lot of fun. You were an early advocate throughout our throughout our battle with uh, Not For Human Consumption. Yeah, yeah. You Shout know, out to those guys. Still anyone, going strong. Yeah. I guess they won. I guess they, they won. Yeah. They they've well, congratulations, you've earned it. I don't know if they have as many episodes as us, but if they do, then yes. If not, I don't know. Well, I'm gonna hold back on that and see if they can yeah. last till episode three. What is this? Episode three fifteen, three sixteen? This is three fourteen. Okay. Yeah. Not a good number to stop on, but uh Yeah, that's a little bit frustrating, whoops. but whatever. Well, how you doing, man? What's going on? Uh yeah, I'm doing great. You know, just living life, working my job, doing the and doing the daily Garf cast. Hell yeah! I'll I'll get back to you. Uh, we wanted to uh, we wanted to get all of this out of the way and done, but I'll get back to you about uh, calling in on that. I'd like to do an episode. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I I did one recently. Yep. It was a lot of fun. I didn't the longest keep, one. Didn't understand. I'm going to do a longer one. Do it. You should. <laughs> Keep, you can tell he's like, okay, well, that that's about the whole comic strip. Then you keep talking and talking and talking. He doesn't tell you to stop. Yeah. So I uh, know. Why would I do that? Yeah, if you got stuff to say, you can say it. I dare you to go for well, uh, that's like every, an hour. Every single time we would try and like record a thought cops episode, and we'd be like, let's keep it to an hour. Let's keep it to ninety never, minutes. Let's never. let's keep it at least under two hours. Let's and it just like keeps like you can't fucking stop talking once you get used to talking so much. You can't fucking stop. But, you know, 
Um, fuck, I lost my train of thought because I was just chatting in this in the uh, server here. But it's hard. It's hard, sort of. I, fuck. Yeah, I wasn't. I, I, had a, I wasn't anticipating the mental fog of having to balance all these. Uh, I had a great quip. But... I had a great anecdote. You guys would have loved it. Um, if I can remember what it was, I'll let you know. Uh, let me try to think. I don't know. Not important. Um, Dude, I am fucking. I am so foggy right now. Like you, were, like you were saying. I don't know if it's because we haven't recorded in a while, or if it's just like this is the last episode. So get everything you want to say out and i'm thinking like oh shit what the fuck do i so want to say yeah oh my god it, it it used to be so easy we just used to go hey uh elon musk uh tweeted a swastika isn't that crazy and then you, we would riff on that for like half an hour and then be like okay and that's the show now well, now i have to be like well what is the show what who am i what's the concept what are we doing i don't know uh, Io Netrunner, any any final words you want to say before we let you go? We hang, let you loose. Uh, nope. Uh, I'm going to miss you guys. Uh, love listening to the podcast. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, I also I want to make it clear really quick. The uh, Thought Cops Discord server, which you've given the key to the city to, it's not going anywhere. We're yeah. still going to be in there. We're still going to use it. We're still going to share our future projects and people can hang out in there and do whatever the heck they feel like, really, um, within reason. Yeah. And I think that's going to be continuing to thrive for some time but yeah and if if we end up doing something that just takes the place of thought cops we'll just rebrand the thought cops discord to the the kevin and grant show discord or like what whatever that is whatever that looks like whatever yeah. it is i don't we don't know yet we haven't thought about it but uh it'll it'll still be around yeah you know, just, so. uh keep an eye out keep an eye out but yeah, yeah. thanks so much uh io netrunner you've been a crucial part of the show yeah thanks for sticking up Thanks for putting our stickers up at random yeah. gas stations. <laughs> thanks for thanks for driving cross country to see our live shows. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, that, that that meant a lot to me. That was like, wow. You know what? I thought to myself, I must have a pretty good show if somebody would drive cross country to see me do it live. Yeah. And I I held on to that. Yeah, it was so much fun. Um it's been a wild ride. Yeah, I'm gonna miss you guys. We'll be around. We'll but still be alive. But the show yeah, thank you. The show will be no longer so well you know all right all right see you take care have a great rest of your show bye thanks thank you all right uh someone else said uh jab said uh heading to my office so i'll have better audio jab do you want to call now do you have I, better I think audio they might, yet? Be, they might not be at the office yet so maybe okay. we should get somebody well, else yeah let us spaghetti? know spaghetti spaghetti said yo spag eddie spaghetti spaghetti is it uh let's see jeb's typing Five minutes away. Yeah, yeah. I'll let's go let's get spaghetti. Okay. spaghetti. Spaghetti, if you're ready. Ready spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> ready spaghetti. Uh, ready linguini. Remember that? I don't. I don't. I don't where, know. Where would I? Where would I, where would I remember, remember that it either? From here, um, we did a whole like, we did a whole bit on ready spaghetti. We've written entire theses on ready oh my spaghetti. God. Yeah, I forgot. Let's get him in here. Uh, spaghetti, you're unmuted. Uh, I if you Zwick telling me that before I lose my virginity, I have to say red. <laughs> that sounds like a Zwickism if I've ever heard one. And I didn't say it, and he was very disappointed in me. Oh. You get I know most people say hi, but that's what I wanted to no, say. That's, that's a great lead in. How you no, doing? No, that's a good lead in, and that's yeah, very, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> you know. And he isn't even fucking here right now. Dude, I don't know what the fuck. <laughs> I don't know what Zwick's ever doing. Like, I, I messaged him. I texted him. I'm like, hey, Zwick, are you here? He said he would help us with, like, the setup of this because we were, we were like, hey, we don't know how, like, we don't know if, like, the we're going well, to have a backup of this. Phone. We don't know if we're going to have a backup. Like, if Craig goes down, we don't know if we're going to be able to do it. Like... Could you show? Could you pop in with like OBS and like backup for us? And he went, oh yeah, sure. And then just like DM, text message, called him. Like nothing, nothing. He's gone. He's he's probably asleep. Well, yeah, he's like, oh, I can't do that. I'm calling on my glasses. He'll, as soon as we like hit stop on the recording, he'll like text us like, oh hey guys, her, uh, what what are you, are you still going? Or? Yeah. <laughs> so well, yeah. Know. Maybe he'll call in. Maybe he won't. Maybe he'll, uh, Zwick, if you want to do like a just a thing at the end of the video, no, uh, nothing incriminating. 
I'll his, leave it at that. In his creepy basement. Yeah. <laughs> I remember enough <laughs> film down there. I remember when uh when he was like he was like recording in like the laundry room or something, and then he was like <laughs> like one day he was like, Yeah, no, now I'm now I'm in my basement. Check out the basement. And we were like, Zwick, that's horrifying. Like <laughs> there's just like like a pile of garbage in the middle of like this dark room that looks like the basement in the uh the Blair Witch project. <laughs> Dimly lit. Oh my god. So scary. Sleep science in chat says <laughs> if you want to say something about Israel Palestine at the end, Zwick. Zwick doesn't know where that is on the map, okay? Yeah, we don't Zwick need doesn't to know Israel we don't, or Parmesan. This is enough <laughs> This is enough uh making fun of Zwick without him here. Um we hit our quota. We, uh, not we're, we're here to talk Thanks, about buddy. you, Spag Eddie. Oh, what what's your do you have a key to the city? Oh, you gave it did you give it to Zwick? Who gave it to Zwick? Uh we're taking uh, it Jim, back. Jim but, did. Jim. Oh, Jim did. Yeah. Uh, but he gave, we're no, 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 wait, no, hold on. He gave the key to the sweaty. <laughs> so nobody's given him <laughs> key to Cano- the city. Canonically. <laughs> I love you, sweaty. Listen. Yeah. My key to the city okay. goes to Robin. Batman sidekick. Okay, I was just about Where to would ask. he be without him? Yeah. The boy wonder. The boy Man, wonder. This, ep- this episode's way worse than I thought it was going to be. This is just way. I was just what like, yeah, no, we're gonna, we're. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be touching. And I'm just over here. I'm like, my brain is fried. It's just atrophied from all the all the months of not podcasting and not like engaging with like the real world in a meaningful way. People are coming on here. They're fucking like giving the key to the city to batman it's like hey we'll never talk to you again uh here the key to the city goes to santa claus thank you it's straight up disrespectful it's disrespectful oh my god well another question from the chat from earlier yeah i just wanted to know if you guys are breaking up because you hate each other no (laughs) it's not what's going on here okay we yeah just, so you got you guys aren't just like co-workers dude, clocking if, into the if that podcast factory if that would have been the case we would have just ended it <laughs> yeah we don't <laughs> like, have to do this uh, bullshit we wouldn't have like i don't know we wouldn't have been about. like hey show's ending uh and we're gonna do four more episodes over the course of six months i i'm tired of talking about of stupid <laughs> fucking twitter <laughs> bullshit yeah that's part of it dude i at some point, I feel like, uh, and I, I, you know, really used to love Twitter, um, and I used to like going on it, and I, I did feel like it was a good place for like, especially like news discourse and whatnot, and like there were some issues with it, obviously. And now it is like just like logging into like 4chan, and it is just like I open the app, and I just close it right away, and it's just it's not we we need to start. Uh, there there needs to be a point where we just fucking all collectively move past it you know it's either that or it's like the like just dead internet theory just like i yeah. love to see the movie despicable me i call oh, it despicable man, this like just, it's fucking painful like <laughs> absolute like, like logging on and seeing this shit like uh i know it i think it was fun for a while to do like the whole thing of like doing cultural criticism because it's it's sort of like there's an aspect to all this stuff where so so much of like modern American politics can be explained through the lens of like these weird fights that we have online. And I did like showcasing that for a while, but it, it has it's gotten so far away from us that it it does feel like there's there's no point in combating it. it you're probably just better off leaving it alone. And yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't know if I have anything more to say about it. It, it does feel like just, just the fact that we built the show on that is like, oh, we're going to talk about these things. Yeah. It's going to be fun. Well, it's going to be funny. It's gone so far in the other direction that it's just like, yeah, I, I don't know. I, we've done more damage to this planet. But um, you know what? Um, spaghetti. Any, any final thoughts before we, uh, we let you go? Um. Let it all out. We're, Grant, this is the last chance you can ever tell us how you truly feel. I don't know if that's true or not. Now we'll still be around. Just not not in this exact yeah. way. We'll still be around. 
generally speaking will be around, but not, you know, this way behind yeah. a computer, behind a microphone. Well, I don't know. Well, I it'll do- it'll be it'll be something. I yeah. don't want to keep just saying that, but it, it'll be something. Like we uh, I still am addicted to seeing my own face pop up on a screen. So that it'll be fucking somewhere. <laughs> yeah. You know. Yeah, are you still bringing back a I don't know if I'm allowed to talk re-education about that. Back re-education. It'll yeah, it'll happen. Um I don't know what it's going to look like. I did create like a draft of a thing. Um and it was very funny. And it, you did see it. It was funny. Um I'm going to do something it with it, the show. but it'll <laughs> it'll it'll be the show and uh we'll we'll get something going with that, but I don't I don't want to focus on it too much up until this is done, you know. And this will be it. So after okay. after this, uh, you know, maybe you'll <laughs> see that, you know, in suit. But yeah, uh, I think somebody stop me uh, wants to call in next. Our dear friend Nick. So yeah. Well, Spaghetti, I there just want to say thank you so much for supporting us. You've been one of our uh, most loyal, most vocal supporters of the show for a long time. Uh, you left us a lot of voicemails, and that always means a lot because it shows that yeah, somebody you took somebody the cares. time. Yeah, yeah, so that means you. a lot. So thank you so much. I think I was 15 when I first... Oh, don't Dude, tell that, it, don't, don't say that. Don't tell us that. <laughs> now you're what, 30? That's fucked yeah, up, now man. Yeah, I'm 30. Jesus Christ. Man. Now I'm 30 What does that make old. me, 47? Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, that didn't feel good to hear. You're old. You guys are wrankly and old. It feels like it, yeah. man. I don't want to talk I, about this I was this 26 anymore. when the show started. <laughs> what the hell happened? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, I'll fuck off now. All right. All right, man. See you later. Take care. Uh, See you. All right, uh, let's get uh, somebody stop me in here because yes. it sounds like he has to bounce. Let me yeah, just let's get him in here. Give you permission real quick. I'm just giving everyone like a guest role. That's fine. Doesn't matter. Uh, it, it doesn't, doesn't matter, matter anymore. This anymore. was the perfect. You should already have one. Uh, he might. Uh, you're on the air. I'm on the air. Hello. Hi, Hello. yes. How I are you? Normal? How are you? I'm going to turn you down a bit. Uh, well, you know, I say bittersweet. Not a lot of sweetness. Really, just bitter. I yeah, am. Right. I think I already said it. I am sorry for killing your guys' show. I did not mean to do that. It's okay. It's okay. It's not your fault. We had low HP already, so. Okay. Well, I mean, to be fair, I was very close to leveling up. You guys look like just enough XP <laughs> to get to the next level. Yeah. Um. That that just about sums it up. So, how how you been, man? How how's Video Ditch? Uh, you know. It's a fun little hobby that I do with my friends. But, you know, I just want to say thanks, a big thanks to you guys for even coming on at all. Oh, yeah. It seemed uh, yeah. like a, yeah. the impossible dream for like Don Quixote charging the windmill asking you guys first. And now, now look at us. We're all such great, great friends. It's true. Mm-hmm. It's Close true. personal friends. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, I think Spaghetti was the one who bit my bit that one time, but I'll let it slide. That's got a sting. Uh, okay. Yeah, that's it. That's I just it? wanted to thank you guys. Do you have a key have to any, the city at all? Any, kind of... A key to the city? You don't have to have one. Uh, yeah, I'll give, it to, I'll give it to Infinite Wealth. This has <laughs> taken over my life. I love Ichiban. He's literally me, I would say. He's sure, sure. Something about that guy. I, yeah. I just beat uh, Like a Dragon Guy Den the other day. Great, right? That ending. Ooh. God damn, that was heartbreaking. Uh, Isn't it wonderful? Almost as heartbreaking as this episode. It's true. They're equally cinematically, culturally, uh, whatever, yeah. artistically. Part- they're equals. Really. About, yeah, just about on the same level. Uh, I started the demo for Infinite Wealth. So far, so good. I'll get it eventually uh, at some point. Yes, yeah, I strongly recommend you pick it up. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, check out Video Ditch. Thank you, Nick. Thank you. Tell Sam we said thank you. Um, of course. You know, just, uh, I don't know. I, I, I always say stay safe because that's what I say. That's what they say at Walgreens when I check out. They're like, yeah, stay safe. I thought it was be well. Uh, okay. they, that's not what they say to me. Oh, well, they probably <laughs> get a look at you and they're like, oh, stay safe. Stay fella. safe. Yeah. Hey, don't, don't, do, yeah. don't be. I mean, yeah, I, I have had a number of like well. strange run ins in the city, so it kind of makes sense. Yeah. Do you hear what like they're making uh, Burger King employees say to people? Have it your way. No, no. Like this is like a new thing. Uh, they every Burger King, like if you go to a register, the people at the register have to tell you like 
I think they say like you're cool. Or else what? Or else they write you up and fire you. <laughs> and then they also have to uh they also have to offer everyone a crown regardless of their age. Okay. Wow. Well, I'm glad I don't work Classic. there, I guess. Uh, if, though if they do want to hire me, I wouldn't wouldn't be opposed. I could do, I could do, I could do pretty pretty well at that job, I think. Well, Nick, thank you so much for calling in. Uh, thank you for being on the show. Yeah. Uh, thank you for having us on your show. And we wish you the very best on your uh, journey of uh, content creation. Yes, thank you. Thanks, guys. Uh, I'll never forget. Thank you. Okay, bye. 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 Uh, I would like to amend what I said. Uh, if you can uh, mute yourself. There there you go. You got it. Um, they don't say, oh, you're cool. Burger King employees are required to tell customers, quote, you rule. You rule. I like that. I'm going to Burger King after this. Dude, don't make them do that. God, no, yeah, they're going to do it or else oh, I'm going to tell okay. on them. Or I'm going to no, say. Nobody wants to work anymore. That's. Oh, well, I went to Burger King. There was no people there because nobody wants to fucking be forced to say dumb shit. What if they say it like just the wrong way? Like, you know, Seinfeld when they're supposed to say like, hi, how are you at the bank or whatever? And Kramer is like, you said, how's it going? I mean, it's the same thing. No, it doesn't. It's, I'm, I'm, uh, I got nothing else going on. I got time. The show's ending. I got nothing to do besides harass minimum wage employees at Burger King. That's and my then, new. That's and my, then beg them for a job. That's, that's, my, that's what yeah. I've been doing. That's my new. That's my new thing, dude. I can't get a job at fucking like Target. I've applied at Target. I can't. They don't want me there. Let's <laughs> let's uh, let's avoid the rabbit hole here before we yeah. both get too depressed. Let's What's, get somebody else. Um, let's get Jab. Thank you, Sleep Signs, for uh, rem- reminding us here. Yeah. Well, yeah, either Jab or Leo. I know Jab's been on deck for a while. Yeah, yeah. Leo okay, says, let's Jab. bring them in. Uh, Jab, you have a guest role already, so if you go Ooh. ahead and unmute yourself, Ooh. there you go. Hello. <laughs> so how's it going? So sultry. How are you? <laughs> I am. Uh, I am sad that it's ending, but I'm also happy that it happens. Don't cry. Because it's over, cry because uh, you've been on the show two or three times. That's <laughs> oh <laughs> yeah, three times, and I I kind of feel bad for Aaron because I it's kind of been the opposite for me where like after a low point in my life happens, you guys asked me to be on the show afterwards, and it was the start of my life getting back on track. That's oh, so it's so been the opposite good to of hear. Aaron's. You know, a, a yin to the yang of the universe. That's I I was sitting here like, am I just? my curse fucking up yeah no no that's okay so they they eh, kind of cancel each other out so that's that's good to hear yeah yeah no like like babe like literally every time i was on something bad happened and then i was like oh am i even worth it and then i get a message from grant or kevin be like hey do you want to be on the show and i'm like we're so back we are, we are so, so back yeah. it's an omen it is so not jover <laughs> it is not jover at all how you doing I'm doing pretty good. Um, just got back from another trip. Went to Magfest. Uh, Look like anyone, fun. Uh, there, it's it's incredible. If anyone is there, whether it's the Midwest or Northeast, if you're nearby, I totally recommend. What is it. that? Is that like Make America Great Festival or what is? I've never heard of this. Yeah, in the same. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's music and games fest. But uh, I was a part of a skit like years ago where like someone like a Trump supporter came in thinking it stood for Make America Great Fest, oh, and then it was like. So like mortified by all the furries walking around. I'm, I'm glad I have my thumb on the pulse. I I almost <laughs> went to Magfest like five or six years ago, and then I didn't. And every year I always forget about it, and I see so many people I'm like mutuals with on Twitter having the time of their lives there, and I'm like, I wish I could go. But as a uh, as a consolation prize, I did get to finally meet you in the flesh recently. Yes, I also went to Chicago for New Year's. Yeah. You know, so many uh, so many of my friends moved there. And then I met a whole bunch of people from your crew from being on this show that also live there. Yeah. So I was like, you know, LA can get a little lonely sometimes. So I was like, fuck it. I'm going to go to Chicago for New Year's. And I got to meet so many cool people, so many people from your end. You know, despite all of your friends not knowing me very well, they were super welcoming. And I'm really, really appreciative of Mm -hmm. that. Yeah, I I wasn't uh, able to go to that outing. But uh, last year, around the same time, uh, we got to hang out and Kevin wasn't there. Next so time, 
we'll get the whole crew. <laughs> so yeah. the third time's the charm. We'll get yeah, both yeah. of you. But yeah, no. I got to see Zwick. Grant, I saw Josh. Zwick. Yeah. Speaking of Zwick, yeah, Zwick Zwick's finally us. in the chat. Ooh, because he saw that I was here. That's why he came in. I think you might be right. He's got like a ping on you. <laughs> but yeah, uh, Zwick, Zwick got on a four-hour train ride to come all the way to Chicago. Zwick like took that, the train? That was some dedication. Oh, that's yeah. a misuse of resources. <laughs> he just woke up. <laughs> yeah. I, I said that. I said that that was the case. It is fine. I was right. Whatever. It's just- I, I also take weird naps in the middle of the day. I do too. And then <laughs> yeah. I wake up and then I find out Elon Musk is... Uh, harassing me online. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, that happens. Well, speaking sometimes. of Zwick, uh, another funny Zwick story related to the one in the last call, like about his basement. I remember, I'll never forget. He joined the call I was in, and it looked like he was in a cubicle. And I was like, "Oh, is this like a new like office that you got?" And he's like, "Nope." And he smacks the wall behind him like a cartoon, like fake wall, and it just like collapses down into like the most Resident Evil, like sinister <gasps> basement. That he's living. <laughs> oh. I was like, that was the most cartoon thing you've ever done. Like, have a fake wall that simulates another room. Yeah. Yeah. Zwick, Zwick's, Zwick's not Zwick really a, a cartoon villain, though. He's not like powerful enough. He's a cartoon hero. No. Like uh, that song, uh, uh, Cartoon Heroes. It's about Zwick. Nickelback? Aqua. I, no, I don't know. Yeah, we are the cartoon heroes. heroes. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah. It's a banger. We listened to it at your uh, New Year's party uh, a couple years ago, Grant. Um, I don't remember. Yeah. And I refuse to. Well, that song was about our dear friends, Wick, uh, who couldn't be here. Oh, he is here. Oh, he no, just you know? woke up. Oh, Zwick, are you going to help us uh, <laughs> back up everything with OBS? Well, I guess it's too late now. Oh, boy. Whatever. <laughs> uh, Craig, Craig is probably working just fine. I hope if he's not working just fine the episode's not going to be coming out because i'm going to jump over that balcony so well lost media the zoomers love lost media so they're going to go nuts to find out they're going to try to scour the internet oh yeah, yeah. they wouldn't give a shit yeah y'all will get a two-hour video essay yeah. on it later and like three years down the line yeah then what, what really what happened, happened yeah. with that final lost episode of thought cops it's on like a vhs tape for some reason yeah <laughs> <laughs> or they just use like stock footage of like somebody putting a uh, VHS tape into a, VS- a VCR. Yeah, that's how old we are. Yeah, we still watch VCRs. Uh, Jab, anything exciting coming up on your end? Anything you want to share with us? What are you up to? Uh, well, since the last time I was on your show, I released a really weird experimental film. Wait, I couldn't I couldn't talk about it when I was on your show because I was keeping it a secret from everyone. But I was doing a weird experiment where I just filmed every single elevator I got on for an entire oh, year. Oh, yeah, I did see that. Yeah, I just yeah. compiled it all together. So that was, uh, that was like the big project I worked on. And other than that, uh, just working with a few YouTube channels that I don't know if I'm allowed to say anything about it yet, but um, Probably don't. things are looking yeah, up. Better safe than sorry. Yeah. But you know what? I can't wait to tell everyone, especially these, especially this crowd, always full of creative energy. Yes. I'm always... But um, but yeah, things are looking up, and it always started with the thought cups. It always started with me coming back, and then things going up from there. And well, I think good to hear. I'm glad. I'm glad. You know, this is you know, this is nice to hear everyone saying this because I mean, I I feel like a a big part of the reason why I wanted to do this in the first place is one, obviously, make connections with people, but two, also just like bolster some sort of creative empowerment along you know all these different lines that we've sort of been doing and there's times when you're you're in the trenches doing this week after week after week after month after year and just going like are people listening to this are people engaging with this interacting with it whatever and you know to the extent where like you know we've maybe struggled with listenership or viewership or anything like that it's like it's it has its ebbs and flows and whatever but you know uh still like having a sort of that that uh like strong home base feeling of like yeah just like all these weird people have sort of like come in and out and like interacted with each other and like we've made meaningful network opportunities for people to like work with people and shit like that it's like it's cool to yeah look back upon all of that you know that's one thing i'm gonna miss because like i i jab i saw your uh, movie go up and i was like oh i wish that that would be a great episode we could talk about that shoot the shit about whatever yeah and like that's something i will definitely miss a lot i mean nobody like needs our help or anything like that matter of fact there's plenty of people who like came on and promoted something it would have been just fine if they never did but like 
I definitely did think about it, but I was like, oh, I was just on. I don't want to be greedy and like demand being on the fourth time. I would have asked you if we were not like on some kind of hiatus or something. Yeah. So. Right. But, uh, you know, whatever, you know, we'll, we'll, everybody stays in our network and whatever. But, you know, I, I, I hate to keep like bringing it back, like networking and shit, but, you know, you are a friend of ours. You're a friend of mine. You know, I, I was really nice to meet you in person. Yeah, and I'll always be back in Chicago. I love that city too much, yeah, and it's mostly because of people like y'all. One and, of the best. Yeah, no, like I, I've genuinely like, if not the best. Yeah, no, LA can get a bit isolating, and every time I go to Chicago, I can always count on waking up to like five hundred DMs from a bunch of people being like, "Yo, let's hang out today." So I'll always be back. I've met, like, I've genuinely just like met an entirely new group of people through being on your show. And Glad to hear. it's really cool seeing y'all like all in like one location that I can go to whenever I want. So that's been that's been really helpful for me, both mentally and professionally. Yeah, and I want to like, yeah, I have to remind myself like just because the show is ending doesn't mean that like you know nobody people are not going to like disappear from my life, right? You know what I mean. I hope I hope the opposite. I hope that people uh, reappear in my life. I hope so too, because I think maybe people go, like, "Ooh, that's interesting." What are they What are they going to cook up next? Well, you got to stay stay tuned and find out. Um. Anyway, we won't keep you much longer. Thank you so much for calling in. Thank you for being on the show. Uh, over the years it means a lot. And uh, yeah, good luck no, with it means so much. And. My key to the city, uh, I'm going to copy Slimes a little bit, but I'm going to give it to both you guys and your entire universe, your entire friend group, your entire community. Again, despite people not knowing me so well, they've been super welcome, and I want to do everything I can to give back. So if y'all want to... That goes for everyone in here. If y'all want to collaborate on crazy skits, crazy videos, I'm down. Let's collaborate. Let's mm-hmm, not yeah. let this community die yeah, just because the yeah. show is ending. Let's... If anything, go. hopefully it grows even more powerful. I don't know how, I don't know when, I don't know why, I don't know what we're doing, but hopefully, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, well, I won't take up too much of your time, but, mm-hmm. but sorry, what were you going to say? I, I just want to say, I was going to thank you again for calling in, but that's redundant, so. Yes, thank you for having me. Love Thought Cops, listen to the backlog, and uh, watch Skibbity Toilet. Yeah, it's good stuff. Yeah. Alright, thanks, thanks All right. for calling in. Bye-bye. Um, Leo, before Uncle we get Leo, maybe before we get Leo in here, just because I know Leo said he was ready, but yeah, I, don't, I don't know if let's ping if, him. If anyone has a time crunch and they need to call in sooner than later, let us know now so we can get you in. So it's not whatever. Brandon Kirkman was also saying something, but I think that he wants to just leave a voicemail. Uh, he said, "I can." That I works. can call a voicemail in at least, but I got baby covered in oatmeal right now. Um, uh, I'll I'll ping him. Hey, wait. Uh, who's that? Oh, it's it's Brandon. Okay, well, let's get him in here. He's in here. Uh, well, let's let's talk I to him. My phone. How do I get, I want to get my video working with my baby. Oh, okay. I mean, it it won't show on the episode, but if you want to, okay. Baby, do you want to say anything? Here, look, it's the Thought Cops. Look. I can't see. It's not. Yeah, I don't think I can get my video. I'm, uh, just, okay. I'm just showing my baby a video of you. Can she say anything funny? Hey, say a slur. <laughs> no, don't. That's not funny, Brandon. <laughs> well, like a baby slur. It's like gaga goo goo, you know? They're not wow. supposed to say that. Yeah. Is that- She's, um. Yeah. We're we're letting her play with uh, oatmeal because it's like supposed to help with something. I don't know what it, it yeah, does. Yeah, I can see you sent a uh, a picture of oatmeal all over the ground in the Discord. That's supposed to great. help with something. Yeah, what does that help with? <laughs> I don't know what it helps with. It was just it, helps it was like give I you ADHD. I yeah. have to try to do that when I get so home. She's got- she's got a bunch of utensils and she's like she's making uh, oatmeal angels in the floor right now. Okay, that sounds kind of fun. Um, I gotta pick her up and run to the toilet so I can make a toilet sound by the time I'm done with this. Okay. Oh my. What do you think, Faye? What do you think? She's just looking at you guys right now. Can any of you guys do a backflip? Uh, <laughs> no. I have cats <laughs> that I could put on camera, but they're all the way over there, and they don't want to be bothered. Oh, she loves cats. Uh, I did peekaboo. Well, <laughs> hello. Yeah, there we go. That was kind of a full sentence. <laughs> yeah, it, <was>. <laughs> <laughs> it felt like that was the, the intention of being a full sentence. Yeah, how's uh? I mean, I wanted to get her to guest on the show before you guys are done, so this is working pretty well. Hey, this counts. 
first podcast you get an, appearance. You get an IMDb credit for this. Yeah. Faye, what do you, do you want to say anything else? No, she's just kind of looking at you guys dismissively here. <laughs> How's, how's the episode going? Did I kill all the momentum? Not at all. No, there's Not been no all. momentum. This yeah. has been a uh, a fucking like a trip through the fucking bramble bush if I've ever seen one. It's like a really old dog that should have been put down a while ago, and it's just <laughs> like okay. Yeah, a little bit. I, I'm I'm in all sorts of brain fog right now. I feel like there's so much that I want to say, and I can't oh, you, find you, the you, words you, you, to say any of it. You sure so. you don't want any with this with this uh? Grease the grease the old gears up there. No, that'll that'll do nothing. <laughs> okay, that'll I make it worse. Mama. Probably. What was it? You open the door. We're getting baby talk again. Yeah. Hey, come here. Come here. Oh, she found mama. Okay. Well, this is come here. Nobody wants to hear this. This is dead air, Brandon. <laughs> dead air. That's the word I was looking for. Did I? I didn't say dead air before. Did I? I don't think so. Yeah. I was trying to think well, of the word, the phrase, dead air. Before when hey, give I me was... a give me a summary of uh give me a summary of the episode so far. Oh, it's been a dead air. There's we been a have, lot of no, dead air. No, we have been having a lot of wonderful calls from a lot of wonderful yeah. people. Uh, everybody's talked to us about how awesome the show has been for them. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. They didn't have. They weren't the ones editing it. You know, they weren't the ones yeah. fucking going to the podcast factory every fucking week, clocking in for a shift. You sit back and enjoy it. That's what yeah. it's for, though. That's what it's for, and that's what, you know. That's what it's all about. Uh, um, Brandon, we also, yeah. you also were uh, on the show very recently as a, as the podcast inspector. I was wondering how, how that's, uh, how's your new job going with that? I mean, it's been going really well because I think like as an industry that more and more podcasts are being shut down so that we can hear like, you know, whatever uh, Kyle McLaughlin has to say about a true crime podcast now instead of, uh, you know, we got to get rid of all the small guys. I'm tired of, uh, them having all this power of a big business. Get 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 the iHeartRadio people in. That's what I'm uh, saying. Tosh is podcasting now. Wow. Oh, to- is it Tosh 3.0? No, it's uh it's just Tosh Show. That sucks. Apparently, apparently he was afraid <laughs> so that bad. uh if he did any Tosh point something that they would like come after him legally. But uh I've listened to a couple episodes. It's not bad, but yeah, too many. It's just the jerking off celebrity. At least so f- some of Tosh's episodes he just like interviews like his gardener, which is, you know, he's like, why would I, I don't care about listening to a comedian talk about their process. It's bullshit. And it's like, hell yeah, man. Uh, so I already, I already respect him quite a bit then on that decision. Yeah. <laughs> I got to check that out then. Uh, but don't, I, uh, don't listen I, to Tosh show. Listen to the small creators. Listen to this the, last episode of yeah, the show. Over and over. And listen to Podzuki. Yeah. yeah, listen to Podzuki. Oh, yeah, Podzuki. yeah. Uh, I heard you recorded with Zwick today. Well, we're gonna record tomorrow. We uh, got. I mean, I guess we can give a, a a big reveal here. We're talking big money hustlers. I don't know why you entertain his whims like that. That's not good for him. It's not good for but, anybody. I mean, I just feel like if we're talking about rich cultures we don't appreciate, I think for sure that's got to be, uh, you know, the insane clown posse. Yeah, kind of yes, kind and of no. Jello. I don't know. I do respect them that uh, they threw a bunch of glass bottles at uh, Tila Tequila uh, before any of us knew that she was like a proud Nazi. They uh, probably didn't so either. They, they were just like... They probably didn't either, but like... We're we can forgive them for it, you know, a little yeah. bit. I mean, yeah, they've always been a really inclusive group. That's not even like a joke. And yeah. I know that I think it's... Was it... Oh, I gotta take the... I gotta take my daughter back. Oh. Where? Okay. To Blockbuster? Here. Yeah, I gotta take her to Blockbuster. Come on, Faye. Come here. You wanna play back in the oatmeal? Come here. All right. All right. Well, this is... If she's not going to play ball, let's get her off the air. Yeah. We got to get her out. I was, gonna, I was probably just going to start wrecking me with you guys on it, but that's probably worse. So, yeah, we're, we're going to let you, I, we're going to let you go, Brandon, but thank you so much for uh thank you uh, for being on the show. Thank you so yeah. much for calling in. Um it's been a, it's been a wild thank ride. Thank you for doing live shows with us. Yeah. Yeah, it was really fun. Faye, do you want to say any, any last words for your for your first and final appearance on Thought Cups? Oh, what's that? She's Oh, she's reaching out. What's it? Oh, my goodness. She's listening. Oh, that was wow! That was all her. Yeah. Wow, just like her dad. It's really impressive. That was yeah, beautiful. Yeah, In- incredible. I didn't. If you could pass down, pass down nothing else, I guess. Yeah. 
that that works. Yeah, it's a, a first flush household. I feel like. We'll say she's just like she's just watching you guys. So I guess that's it. All right, we'll say goodbye. I, I'm gonna really miss Thought Cops. It was one of my favorites. Uh, you we'll know, still be I think around. We're still thing, alive. I I thought they have to like literally put you in the ground after it's done. Well, that's you know, like what's that gonna happen if we lose the, the audio for this episode. Is we're gonna be put in the ground, but uh, we'll see. <laughs> All right. Well, yeah. All right. Well, I'm. I look forward to whatever endeavors you both move on to after this. But I will be missing Thought Cops still thoroughly. We will be too. Yep. All right. Love you guys. Right, love you too. Take man. care. All right. Bye. bye. Let's uh let's get a voice. Yeah, mail. let's do that voice. Oh, I was mail gonna say I um queued up really quick. I know I, I mentioned that like what was your favorite? Yeah, uh, I started and then Brandon jumped in. Uh, yeah. I want to say sometimes the the Grant Sonas when I was doing a different Grant Sona every week, that was fun. Especially uh when I learned Japanese when Nico helped me write the Japanese intro when I went. Yeah, I didn't have to do the voice. Well, but I didn't did. have to, but I I did good. I did good speaking Japanese, and you were like, that sounded good. So, you know. Oh. I don't know what episode that was, but uh go back and go back and check that out when I did the intro in Japanese. I should go through some of the I uh, sounded like an anime character. It was good. I didn't sound that good now, but I sounded good. For some reason, the first one that popped in my head was uh chicken wars do you remember that yeah when you uh said chicken wars and it wasn't funny and then you threw a gun across the room yes that was that was one of my favorite parts of the whole show um i like doing the one brianna murphy was on that episode yeah i liked when we did like the the man on the street the naruto runner around trump tower i always thought we would do more of that and uh making videos is difficult but making dif- making videos is difficult when you're producing a fucking weekly podcast. So I don't know. Now that we're not doing this anymore, maybe we can uh, maybe we can make more videos. I yeah. don't know. We'll see. Uh, God, what else? I mean, there's been so many great bits over the years. Elon Musk calling into the show was pretty huge. Yeah, uh, um, not as big as I was hoping when people were harassing me for begging elon to come on the show and they were like you fucking idiot fanboy you fuck you you bootlicker and i was just like yeah but just wait we're gonna get him on and then we got him on and nobody cared well that just goes to show you how little people actually care about him that's clearly what that speaks to yeah um Um, zwick said all the songs that i made for the show uh centrist connection that was fun we still get comments on that that say like i can't believe this has so little views Right, but it should have more. But you know, the fact that it didn't have more, and the fact that more people didn't uh, follow us as a result, and the show didn't get huge as a result, uh, it's, uh, it's let's it's not get all too, of let's your not fault. get bitter it's here on your the end. fault. You random commenter on YouTube. Yeah, I mean, they like it's. It seems like an obvious fix, though. Like if somebody's saying, like, why does this not have more views? And then it's you don't, you. And then you don't it's share it. You yeah. don't share it. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. Um. Let's take a let's take a voicemail. Yeah, you guys are awesome. You guys are funny as hell. May you continue to spread laughter and joy throughout the web, the world. You guys are awesome. Thought cop forever. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Uh, straight to the point. I like that. Thank you. I don't so know much. who that was. I don't think. Do Thought I? cops forever. I don't know. Thought who, cops forever. I don't, I, don't, I don't know. But thank you for uh, calling in. You could have said your name, but that's fine. You don't have to. It's okay. Some people prefer to be anonymous. We it's have fine. three more voicemails. Should I play another one? Let's do one more while we got him up. All yeah. right. Cops. Thoughts. Uh, this is Whiskey Sawyer here. Yep. Or, uh, Raul from the old days. Uh, friend of Sleep Science, Josh. Hello. If you remember me. I'm still alive. Uh, I just wanted to say thank you guys for giving me very, very fun and unimitatable, if that's how you pronounce the word, entertainment for the last couple of years. I've lived in Chicago vicariously and parasocially through y'all, and I have no regrets in listening to that. Appreciate you, Kevin, Grant, Slime, Nico, Sleep, uh, the old uh, Discord news, if that's still a thing, 
Uh, I haven't been in the Discord in a while, so no. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> I've been busy with shit. But um, uh, Stereos. Um, hey, you and me both. And uh, I think I think I got most uh, mostly everything there. Oh, Beetle Moses as well. I like those episodes. Uh, the one with the dog. I can't remember his name. Oh, Yellow Swag. There we go. And uh, oh, yeah. like a t- the dog. I wish you guys nothing but the best in all your future endeavors and everything. Uh, don't die and uh, keep keep moving forward. Okay. As uh, the good to. old weeb. We'll see how this uh, audio goes. Aaron Yeager said. I'm doing this all off the cuff, obviously. I did not write any of this at all. I'm trying to hey, sound sentimental We're doing here. a whole episode uh, off like the cuff, and it's going great. If that actually, yeah, there we go. I care about y'all and your show, and I appreciate y'all and what you guys have done. So, um, yeah, yeah. Thanks. Thank you, guys. Bye. Thank, Thank you. you. And thank you for coming on the show. We had him on once. Yeah. Yeah. Always good to hear from some old guests. Yeah. Uh, let's take a call here. Yeah, let's get Leo here. Leo, are you ready? Hello, boys. Am I coming through clearly? Crystal Hello, clear, Leo. Leo. Hello, Uncle Leo. Hello. Hey, hey, Grant, Kevin. Hello. What's going on? Hello. How's it going? It's going. Oh, how, you know, living you? the dream. What's, what's up with living you? Living the dream. I don't, oh, oh, sure. Just, just kill all the energy. The road's going. Yeah. I'm hey, coming. Man. I'm bringing some Woo! energy to your, no... your final episode. Really? Bring up that pep. Put a little pep in your step, boys. Haven't I done that for every single one of my call-ins? That's Do I true. Not let's, come take in a, let's take bombastic? a cue from him. Hey, man, I had a whole ass Celsius before you called in here, and it's doing nothing for do me. shit. <laughs> That's because it's Celsius. What? The hell are you drinking hey, that man, for? I, I used to uh I, I would uh I back in the day, uh I used to drink uh you know that bulletproof coffee. I used to drink that. Did nothing for me. Also, I used to drink Wait. Everclear. I would drink an entire bottle of Everclear. It just didn't do shit. That's a joke that That's literally That's a joke that literally only Kevin will only get. for just uh, only just for me. Leo dropped out. Whoa. Leo, come on. He's in the Leo, are you back? He's back. I'm all thumbs. That was my fault. I apologize. Oh, that's okay. Too excited. I just made a joke that no one would understand except for Kevin. So, uh, it was funny. Yeah. <laughs> well, all right. Okay. Thank well, you. guys. Well, I, I, you know, it's your final episode. I'm here. I've heard heard all these depressing stories about everyone's down and out of a job. Yeah. Me too. Oh. Can you believe it? I sold uh, my house. I left my job of 12 years to move south to build a house in the woods, and I'm unemployed. Yeah, I'm sorry to hear. <sighs> it is. It's, it's a sad state of affairs. Yeah. I'm living in a camper, for God's sake. Oh. Yeah, but you're building you, a house. You know what it's like? To, it is, but I miss furniture. Yeah. Like, you have a couch to sit on. I sold mine. <laughs> I have no... I, I've been sitting on, like, a camper bench seat that turns into a bed for the last six months. Mm. What, a, what an awful state of existence. Yeah, that but, sounds But, yes, awful. I, I'm working on the house. Every time Leo, <laughs> um, will, I, Leo will, like, disappear in the Discord for, like, six months and then just show up and just be like, yeah, my dog got, like, nearly stabbed to death, but she's doing fine. Uh, oh, I fought off a bear earlier today. Oh, my wife fell through the floor. Oh, I fucking like got hit by an asteroid on my shoulder and it it fucking popped out of its joint. But like I just kind of like popped it back in and whatever. Like and, it's and always every single one of those stories is true. Yeah, it's, they're yeah. all true. Well, because you show a picture with it and then we're like, it's got to be true. There's the house. There's Leo. Yeah, yeah. it all started with um, catching a, a bed rail to the face, knocked out a tooth. Oh. Um, then uh, then out here cutting trees, the had a tree dropped on me what the um fuck, man? i was installing always be on the side of the house my hand my handrail gave and then i fell off the second oh floor my God. um wife ended up in the er because she became tachycardic after um an intense uh, asthma attack Is she okay and then uh, uh running oh yeah she's okay, fine good, now good. she's good she got over she got over the eventual MRSA that showed mm, up that's insane you know, that sort of thing yeah <laughs> <laughs> uh, the, dag- the dog stabbed herself on a on a fallen tree branch, chasing another neighbor's dog out here. It, it's just been it's been a collective and the asteroid, uh, yeah, and the asteroid hitting your shoulder. <laughs> yeah, 
the asteroid, the bear attacks. Um, I'm waiting for the uh, the fire to start to claim the house, make this all just completely worthless. The entire venture just gone up in smoke. But we're not there yet. That's just predicting the future. I'm trying. I'm trying to stay positive down here in Florida. Um, speaking of which, we've been handing out keys to the yes, city yes. to entirely fictional people, well, right? I, you fictional. don't have it to. Have but, to be uh, fictional, but it can be, I guess. Oh, I, I've got a completely fictional person. They don't exist. Okay. Not down here. Let's hear it. A native Floridian. They don't exist. Mm. Every Floridian uh, I've talked to down here has been from somewhere else. I don't know a soul they're all that has been born basically. in this God-forgiven yeah. state. <laughs> Not a one. I think maybe I have to go down south to Miami or something like that, but they don't exist in the northern side of Florida. Well, no such thing. Isn't it, isn't it where Florida is like... Uh, basically, a a large state-sanctioned nursing home is it not? Isn't that where the old people go to die? Is Florida? Yeah, the old, the old. Uh, what is it called? The villages, the STD capital of the world, uh. where you can just turn old and just get every venereal disease you want. Yeah, that's down here. That's the premier place after Universal Studios to go. Great. And then what? Disney World. <laughs> Uh, sure, Disney yeah, yeah. World, if you want to ride three rides in a single day. Sure, go there. Why not? Yeah. Jab in the chat says they were a, na uh, a native Floridian but got out of their ASAP. Oh, that's what happened. They moved out. They went elsewhere while all the other suckers like me moved here instead. Yeah. Okay, that actually makes a lot of sense. Ooh, that, open, that, open that vacancy. The I think I'll take thing it. Up. Yeah. Right, right, exactly. Wow. Uh, but but that's it. That's my key to the city, the native Floridian. They don't exist. Apparently, they live in Michigan. They live in Minnesota uh, or, or huh. where else over in the Northeast. Why it the just fuck struck would, me. Like, I, I, bought... I totally understand, like, when you're, especially when you get older and you're like, man, I'm tired of the cold. I'm going to move south. I don't understand people that are like, I'm tired of the heat. I'm going to go north. I don't get that. That sucks. I, I, yeah, absolutely. It's what spurned my move down here was just the most miserable like winter. And I come yeah. from North Dakota. It's it's where I'm from. It was just I remember shoveling the night before, getting up in the morning, having to reshovel again just for the snow plow to come by and make me reshovel for a third time in twelve hours. Like, gentlemen, when I moved, I did unkind things to my snow shovel, knowing I would never see it again. <laughs> The amount of abuse Fair. I put that thing through before I chucked it into the dump. I made a trip to the dump for that snow shovel. I don't blame you. I'm tired. I don't blame you. I'm tired of that northern crap. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll take it. It's it's a nice, comfortable 60 degrees here in the middle of February. It does sound Something nice. Something I've never even known for 37 years of my life. Wow. What is that? I well, got me. I'm living it right Leo, now. Leo, try to enjoy the weather. Try to enjoy the heat, the warmth. Uh, up here, it's yeah. Kind of cold ish. Uh, hoping that the state doesn't kind of like break off because I've seen people do that on maps before. Uh, I saw Florida. Looney Tunes like Bugs Bunny took like a saw yeah, to like the a map big and cut saw. the whole thing Watch off. Watch out for saws. Yeah, giant you know? saws, giant rabbits. Yeah. But yeah. Oh, well, I'll say this. Back in the native state, it last week or the week before, it got to negative 70 degrees with the wind chill. 70 below. Dodged a bullet. The hell with that. No more of that. Yeah. People's like cars were telling them, I'm refusing to start. It's too cold. Like the, the, the uprising of electronics against the cold started in that freaking state. The hell with that. No I more. do Done. not blame you at all. But yeah. you know what? Enjoy what you got. I know it's kind of crazy, but hopefully it looks up soon. Um, you know, you can always, you know, we'll, we'll be around the Discord. So even though you won't have a show. Yeah. To leave voicemails on, you can always. Well, and Leo's been calling into oh. Zwick streams. Zwick's been streaming and whatnot, or I don't know if that's been recent. Right, but... it, it, uh, he's been running some. It's been harder for me to be in a position to to, to hop in and, and do streams with him. I'm I'm in a camper. I'm out in the woods. Right. You know, I'm I'm building. I'm trying to find a job. You have to make sure you that know, like your metal fillings in your teeth like link you up to the Wi-Fi <laughs> so that you can call in. Right, my my dentures, you know, they they interfere with the five G, that yeah. sort of thing. Yeah, it, it's been tough. It's been hard like that. Uh, but uh, Kevin, I'm glad to hear that you've got some things coming down the pipe. You. You're rather excited for. Yes, I am. I'm happy for you, um, Grant. 
I know you've been working on books. You've been yes. trying the, the work grind. I hope nothing but the best for you in those endeavors. Oh, thank you. Uh, so, absolutely. So it's been a wild ride, gentlemen. I hopped in the Thought Cops midway through your stuff. I did some call-ins for fun. A lot of that was just because I worked the same job for 12 years and became mundane, and you guys were a bright spot in my day at the end Glad of the to night. Hear it. To put on a character, to become Leo the Incredible, yes, yes. and let it out. Because well, otherwise, I'm, I'm just a very boring person otherwise I mean, listen hey to me. aren't this we all sound like otherwise i just want to say that this like is... people appreciate you leo we appreciate you i think yeah. like this is one of those things where it's like you do the show do people care do they not but it's like i think like getting those voicemails from you um really made the show feel like it had something to it and that sounds like maybe a little bit silly but like it, i it definitely gave a lot more weight to it for me purposely or uh, for me specifically and i i, I even had people who listen to the show like talk about you as part of the show like you were a character on the show which and you yeah were. yeah yeah you kind of were a character in our lives which is yeah. weird to think about and i still can be once the house goes up guys once all the disasters stop happening yes we can make it happen again we can revive thought no i'm just kidding <laughs> uh, <laughs> but whatever your future endeavors are yeah i i, I would be happy to uh root you on and and always be there to give you guys some support. So thank you for everything. Well, thank you. Um, yeah, thank you. And all all the listeners, everyone in the Discord, it's always been great to chat with you. And Zwick, old man, I will see you soon. All right. All right. Good night and good luck. Bye, Leo. Bye. Uh, anybody else want to call in? We also got uh, we got an email from yes. Shrug or Not that I would like to read at wanna, some point i can read it right now if people like uh yeah go see for who it. wants to go next but i'll say this is from our dear friend shrug or not <clears throat> hey thought cops i don't want to take up too much time but i hate the sound of my own voice and i'd like to listen back to this without cringing i find you guys that are hey, really imagine having 314 fucking yeah. episodes of i hate the sound of my own voice yeah. so you know we get it uh i find you guys at a really important part of my life and i wanted to thank you for all the good times my favorite part was seeing you guys become like a secondary mega 64 show Hell yeah. It always felt really cool to see such big internet personalities personality showing up like it was no big deal. Except for Rocco, I guess, but he's too cool and too busy, and that's fine, sure. It's been a lot of fun making friends in the Discord and on Twitter. You are swell. Uh, I'm really looking forward to seeing where things go from here, and I'm sorry about the whole Elon thing. <laughs> Thanks again. Shruggernaut, thank you for being such a big supporter yeah. of the show. Uh, thank you for... Um, we did the... Uh, such a kind gesture. He he donated to our Patreon, so all, all of our friends, uh, oh yeah, all could see the Mario movie. Grown ass adults could yeah. see the Mario Brothers movie together, and it was such a good time. Uh, we talked about it on Fire Bros, but um, that meant a lot. I think everybody really appreciated that. Um, definitely one of the crowning crowning achievements of the show was getting to see the Mario movie for free. Yeah. Uh, and also, yeah, just thank you so much for supporting the show and plugging the show wherever you had a chance to. I feel like there's so many anytime, times. Anytime a tweet would go viral, yeah, just yeah. like, I don't have anything to plug, but uh, listen to Thought Cops. Listen to Thought Cops, yeah. Thank you. Uh, that meant a lot. And always, you know, your support means a lot. I, I feel like, I, I, don't, I don't mean to come across like insincere. I hope I don't. But it's like, like I said, I feel like I, I flip into like show mode on here and it's like, I go, thank you for all the support and, kind yeah, network- yeah. and the networking opportunities. But like in all reality, uh, if I can break it down, like um, I will be very sad to see the show go. Uh, and I am very sad. Um, but, you know, it's uh, it is what it is. I, I think like onward and upward is the uh, flower in Mario Wonder would say. Right. And um, yeah, I mean. I'm thankful for the years of thought cops we've had uh, over the years, years over the years. And um, let's bring another caller in. Sleep science. Oh, sleep. Oh, yeah. I forgot about him. Let's bring him in. Hello. Hello. Hello there. Uh, Whoa, I sounded like, did I sound like Leo there for a second? No, you sounded way more high pitched. (laughs) Yeah, like a high pitched Leo. (laughs) Yeah, like a woman Leo. Nice. Not that women all necessarily uh, <laughs> have, you know, higher pitched voices, but I'm just saying that's like, uh, what's the feminine version of the name Leo? Leah. Leah. Yeah, like Le- Leah. The incredible. The incredible. How's it going, Josh? Leona Asterio says. Oh, it's good. It's good. 
Uh, did I come in as crazy loud as everyone else has so far? No, that's just a Discord thing. That'll cool. maybe whatever. maybe you already have me turned out. down too. <laughs> uh, I got you at two percent. First thing first. Yeah, I, I just want to clear up something. There's been some confusion about this. All right. Um, the YouTuber Fudge. I am not him. Oh, <laughs> my God. <laughs> so just in case, I know there's been some confusion. Yeah, a little bit. So nobody's little confused bit, anymore. Yeah. Him and I, Fudge and I, not the same person. Yeah. Um, and we don't need to say anything else about that. No. Uh, I, I <laughs> wanted to talk about it, but I we could talk also about it don't want to talk about it. I mean, it's... I mean, I alluded to it very briefly, but yeah, yeah no. Um, <laughs> Up to you guys. I don't know. Uh, I just can't imagine someone's like anonymously shit talking and just like to immediately throw someone else under the bus. Just like I knew it was this person. It's just like, no, I mean, that's honestly at this point, <laughs> at this point, I have said my piece on how I feel about hard drive. Uh, and I think it was like received pretty well, except for like some of the screenshots I was sharing from Reddit where people whatever. where people who didn't understand at, like w- People didn't understand 1% of the conversation were just like, well, here's my take on the whole thing. It's just like, yeah, you don't know anything. Like, sure, yeah, if if you want to make up stories about how, like, this guy that, like, hasn't worked there in years was doing whatever, but, like, that's not what happened. So, like, you know cool cool on you but yeah, yeah um whatever can i super quickly like say what have just the context of that joke real quick that's up to kevin uh it it's okay? his yeah, thing totally up to you we we can leave it i'm totally fine leaving it's it. not it's not plan, it's not worth explaining it's not that interesting like it's it's interesting right. but it's also i don't know just go to twitter it's, it all it's kind of outrageous twitter. and funny but People can figure it out if they want. If I mean, you want to, this I, is the this last point, like, episode. I, I've said all I have to say about it. Like all I can say is like yeah, I have yeah, new yeah. stuff coming. Look forward to it. Yeah. Uh, hard drive is. Uh, I, I'm thankful for my time there, but yeah, whatever. Yeah, it's not whatever. Well, to get to something positive. Yeah, yeah that's the I point of the this. City. Uh, and uh, Kevin will like this one. Uh. It is uh, Jackie Chan movies, old Jackie Chan movies. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah. Uh, I've been watching a lot of punching them, the kicking. Great. Yeah. Uh, Police Story one and two are on Max now. Kevin, you and I originally watched them because you have the awesome Criterion yeah. mm-hmm. Blu-ray collection of them, so we got to watch them on that. But I rewatched them on Max recently, and people, if you haven't seen those, you should watch them. They're yeah, so they're fun. fucking good. And there's not a lot of his older movies that are like on streaming in their like original versions. So, like, take advantage of that. Uh, Grant, you need to watch some Jackie Chan movies with us. Uh, Jackie Chan's, I don't know, just whatever. Fuck you. <laughs> you need to. You need to get on board. <laughs> I don't. I don't really care for him all that much. Why? Was, I what don't know. the fuck? So, um, Have you seen any of his like older stuff? No, and I. I don't know. He's. It's fine. He's whatever. This is this is I don't want to get into a whole Bruce Lee versus Jackie Chan. <laughs> okay. Thing, but, you know, it's it's just you know. They're two different things. Jackie Chan brought two a lot different more like people, comedy thank and slapstick. You. Two to two it. different people. He had a different style though. Scott, you're calling them style things. from Bruce Lee. Yeah, that's very disrespectful. Anyway. Yes. <laughs> um well now it's that that's out of the way then. Uh, I do have to S your D's for a moment. Because right, uh, when I was on the show, oh, I'm ready. Please when I was don't. on the show last episode, I didn't get it. Ch- well, I, I got to do it literally, but I didn't get to do it figuratively. <laughs> well, that was off. Um, oh, cameras stopped rolling at that point. <laughs> um, yeah, I because I know you two personally in real life, uh, and have you know gotten to get you know you, gotten to get to know you pretty closely. And uh, I feel like this is something that hasn't quite been said. And this is, you guys aren't going to like this, but uh, I feel like I am able to maybe say this. And I don't know if other people have pointed this out, but the reason I think your podcast, like, touch so many people, like, well, t- that's, oh, okay. That's yeah. a Touched weird by an way angel. To put it. Oh, right. But, like, hey, <laughs> no, it's okay. 
Let's move right past no, it. No, like the re- the reason it resonated, that's a better word. The reason it resonated with so many people is because you are actually like genuinely good fucking people. Oh, thank you. <laughs> and well, it's good to hear. Uh it's nice to know. Like try. Yeah. That is kind of rare in like maybe not rare, but it's like there's a lot of examples of that not being the case in like the podcast space or the comedy space. <laughs> Where, like, you like what people do a lot, or you think they're really funny, but you don't necessarily think, like, or, or you don't necessarily know, like, how they are as people. And some right. of them sometimes come out to be, like, maybe not monsters, but, like, less than, like, you know, less than great. Sometimes people, people. get canceled and everyone's like, ha, huh, good. Thank God. You know? Yeah. Yeah, or just sometimes people seem like douchebags, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, maybe they're not, like, horrible, like, monsters who did something terrible, but, like, they maybe they just seem like prickly people who are, like, not pleasant to be around, mm-hmm. maybe, I mean, I struggle with my really own instances of that where I'm like, ah, oh, I am, like, a depressive personality, and I, I can be prickly and whatever, but I also recognize that I don't want to be like that, so... You know, maybe that's the important part. Yeah, but I don't think you like take it out on people. No, I mean that's that's a big thing that bothers me a lot of, about a lot of people that you know, sort of like you're talking yeah. about, is that like, oh, you can definitely tell that some people just like didn't handle, you know, maybe it's like having a bad childhood or like having whatever, or maybe they had a too good of a childhood and they're just assholes because of it, or you know, whatever. I don't, I don't know what everyone's thing is, but sometimes when people like take shit out on people and it's like, yeah, no, I kind of. Like, what's your excuse, you know? They don't have one. Yeah. And also, like, there's a lot of... You guys have never, obviously, you've never been a political podcast, which is great. Thank you. touch on it. I mean, podcasts are I mean, I, I, will, yeah. I will hold to the contention that, well, some of the stuff that we talk about is inherently... Yeah. Like exactly. can be construed as political. I have never considered you cover this to internet be outrage political. Which like is, because I I just don't think that like some of the shit is political, you know. And that's always like a thing, a contention that has always bothered me about so much of the shit that we've talked about is that like the M and M's are not fucking political, and like some of that shit just like fucking boiled my fucking brain. That people just think that like there's this big conspiratorial mindset thing. That like, oh, because they're doing this, they're trying to weaken our culture. You know, this fucking like Nazi rhetoric that is fucking just like infiltrated the normal conversation to the point where people like actually sincerely believe some of this shit. You can't even enjoy candy anymore. You can't even even jerk off to candy. Jerk off to candy anymore. And it's so stupid to think that like there's, you know, uh, I don't want to get into like this whole fucking thing, but like what's happening in the Middle East right now and what's like what we've hap- what we've watched happen to our political system within the last like four years alone, let alone like before that. So much of all of this shit is just like happening to people and people are suffering as a result. And some people think that it's because of the fucking candy. I, I can't. I fucking can't. It's the stupidest shit. And, you know, if if people got like, oh, some level of catharsis out of us talking about that, uh, Aster- like Asterios and Dramatically are both typing in all text, uh, you know, <laughs> all caps. Yeah, all text. All, yeah, all, typing all in- caps. I told you I'm fucking <laughs> stupid this episode. Just let me be stupid. It's all right. Uh, you know, it's, you're allowed to be is, stupid. It is just like I that I feel like has been part of the greater project of trying to do this is to just try and like dispel some of this shit a little bit to the point where it's like we cannot be thinking about this because there's actually shit that fucking matters. And like, I'm sorry, but like, fucking like. Jordan Peterson yelling about Elmo would vote for Democrats. Elmo is three years old. He cannot vote. <laughs> He's been three years old for a long time. Though. He's been three years old for too long, but he cannot vote. And you getting yeah, angry like at him for uh, almost like that uh, that person in that HBO documentary, like the the strange case of like Natalia, or whatever, it's like the. The family that like adopted that girl and like thought she was an adult. 
Oh, I don't know what you're like talking dwarfism. about. I'm but... not sure. I thought you were going to say Larry David. That's Elmo. I'm yeah. just saying that's Elmo. Elmo. Elmo is a is a is a full grown adult parading as a child. I see. I see. Yeah. Sure. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. But I yeah. <laughs> But yeah, my, my point was, yeah, like you said, inherently covering internet outrage means a lot of the stuff you cover is going to like sometimes heavily border on politics. And you guys don't shy away from that, which is good. But you, I mean, I think you guys would probably claim to be like leftists, right? Not that it matters. I'm sure. Like, I'm yeah. anarchistic, I would say, just as like a personality okay, fair enough, flaw, fair enough. you know, like not, not Grant, necessarily you're, you're as like an ideology, politics. but I would say that I'm pretty anarchistic in the sense that like, I think, uh, you know, um, fucking Noam Chomsky said it best when it was just like, just questioning authority. I think we all need to do that. You know, I think we all need yeah. to constantly question just someone says, Hey, uh, fucking, uh, we built this thing and you go, Hey, but why, why'd you do that? You don't have to be necessarily antagonistic towards it. You don't have to destroy everything all the time, but you do got to be like, Hey, uh, like, but why though? You know, like, I think that that's fair game. And a lot of people do get pretty pissed off when you ask why, because then they have to like defend it. And sometimes not all of it's defensible. So. I don't yeah. know. That's that's all that I guys think. Have I never, yeah, my point is you guys have never like shied away from having political opinions, but you're not like crusaders on the podcast. You you don't try to use it to like like oh we got to take down this thing now, you know, which I think people appreciate that. But on the other hand, it's like man, there are so many people in the comedy space or the podcast space who it's like they're like, "Oh man, we we just got to be funny and like being funny means that like we can't we can't care about anything like we can't act like things are important or like affect people yeah or i mean and you guys actually fucking care like i think that's obvious and i think that's a reason why like you guys stood stand out a little bit i appreciate we that. do appreciate in, in that in this kind of yeah. content in this kind of genre of podcast yeah and i mean there's also i think people that get sort of like an overinflated sense of like you know i don't know i feel like as someone who grew up watching a lot of john stewart and whatever there was a lot of catharsis and there was a lot of like you watch this and you're just like wow this is making an impact and it's changing people's minds and blah 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 and then you get like trump and you're just kind of like i don't know if this did anything like, you know, it, it it does sometimes feel like people in some of these spaces that talk about some of this stuff, they do think like, oh, we're doing all this. And like, yeah, maybe. But sometimes it also just feels like, I don't know, is like just making silly jokes. Is that really doing praxis? You know, like, you know, I, I, I don't know where I fall on some of this. I, and sometimes I feel like maybe that's the struggle of like part of the reason why we don't know what to do with the show anymore is also like we're ending it. Well, we're, we're ending it, you know? And I, I think part of it also was from the point of view of just like, I don't know, like some of the shit doesn't feel good to like joke around about anymore. Yeah. Cause like, you people, know? like people, a lot of people out there like do want to jerk off to candy and like, it's not really funny. To, yeah. Like, it's make not fun funny of- to make fun of that. I mean, th- <laughs> like nope. I'm, not no gonna shame shaming, anyone yeah you know? that's really um, wrong i mean if you want to get off yeah. to the gr- or jerk off with candy jerk off with candy to candy it doesn't right. matter i mean we you're, have you're you ever put your dick in a three musketeers um it put it in how do you put a, your dick into a three musket how small is your penis <laughs> you'd be able to do that hey we don't have to get into that okay I'm hey, just, you brought you brought it i'm just begging the question you um, brought it up, dude. All right. Yeah, I don't know. Well, you unless know, you go the, on that note, actually. The idea that <laughs> someone's going to make some sort of smarmy, <laughs> smug joke and that the internet's now just full of these people that are just smarmy back and forth to each other and just always trying to get dunks in, it feels like it's doing the opposite of helping. And, you know, I, I don't know. I don't know if that means, like Kevin said before, like, uh, I don't know if you said this on the show, if you said this outside of the show, but, like, at this point, I feel like I'd rather just, like, like work at a soup kitchen if i'm gonna help or something like that and it is just like i I don't know i i struggle with it because it's like you want to you want to talk about stuff and i do feel like there's there's points of critical mass where like the more people talk about stuff the more it does make some kind of an impact 
but I, I just, I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's something it's practical. Something, it's like, it's I, something I, I'm definitely struggling with the older I get, because I feel like when I was younger, I was naive enough to sort of think that like, oh, you just make a joke and like everyone's minds are changed and it goes away. I, I don't think that it's like that fucking easy. And I, I don't know if like approaching things from like a purely political angle is like doing all that good either. Like, I, I don't know. I don't I don't know. And I don't know what it is that I'm doing with it anymore. And, you know, to the extent that this is over and obviously it's like I still have like my TikTok presence and I can write shit and I can do whatever like cool, fine. But also it's like, yeah, I don't know. It, I, I look at what's happening in fucking Gaza right now and it just makes the world seem like a darker, more horrific place. and you know you 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 hope people feel that and they don't always feel that and they don't always respond that way and i get that there's like fucking shit that there's reasons for things but sometimes there's not always good reasons for things and sometimes shit just like fucking sucks and you try and say like hey shit sucks right and you get some smarmy asshole online going like well uh, they should uh, do this or whatever and oh it, if only people listen to me like all this wouldn't have fucking occurred and whatever and it's just like man i this just feels bad. Like so much of it feels bad. And it's like, I, I don't want to, I, I don't know how to fucking reconcile with some of it. I don't mean to go all doomery, but it is, it does he just, asked for it to be fair. You asked for it. Um, and I don't know. I, I wish people yeah, sorry, I set that were up, more fucking. <laughs> no, I, I don't just know. let him go. Let him not em- empathetic towards other but people. Yeah, point is, point is, you guys, <clears throat> good guys. Thank, thank you. Thank you. I'm sorry if that made you uncomfortable, Kevin. No, not at all. <laughs> I'm just. Not. I mean, we gotta we gotta uh, get some sorry. of it out by yeah. the time the show yeah. ends. You know. But uh, yeah, I mean, that's also why I think the Thought Cups <clears throat> Discord became such a cool community and people linked up and stuff. And like, I think that kind of energy is infectious and fucking rules. And uh, I love you guys. Well, thank you. And, thank you. And, love you too. Yeah. Um, by the way, episode 314, not a bad number to end on. It's Pi. Turns out this was a math well, podcast all along. You know what? I'll take it. It's Pi Day. Where's my pizza? And, uh, yeah, and this this one's for you guys. Are you lighting up on camera? All right. Wow, what I'm a scared. cool what a cool guy. I am actually scared. It's a good thing we're not recording video because uh, YouTube oh, is he would on take video? it down. Hold on a second. He's oh, just on like video. Me yeah. Raising a glass. Oh, I couldn't what's, see. What's the difference? Yeah. You know what I mean? Couldn't see. Sorry. I've been watching him talk <laughs> the whole time. Hey, cheers He's to right you. There. Uh, yeah, up, I don't know uh, if that th- I don't know if the noise of that showed up in in Discord, but it'll be on my audio that I <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. All right. I'll I'll let you get you can you can drop me. All, All right. right. Bye bye. Uh, mute yourself. Thank you, Josh. Uh, uh, we have like one more voicemail. We have another. Yeah, we have another email. And let's see if anybody else wants to call in. Otherwise, yeah. I think we might have to wrap this puppy up. Also, we have to do our own fucking. Uh, we have to do our own keys to the city. I got too. one. I got one. I got one also. Um, you're on the air. Unmute yourself. All right. Can you guys hear me? Yes. yes. Hello. And then dramatically said, "I can I go after him? <clears throat> okay, then I'll be really quick because I know you guys uh, have gone a really long time. Oh, no worries. Yeah, uh, just to tag on what Josh said about you guys being good people. Um, a saying that I always really liked was that you can tell a lot about people from the company that they keep. And when I traveled up to Chicago last year, not only were you guys super nice, but all of your friends were super nice too. And I think that that really reflects well on you guys. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Um, and I, we do appreciate that. I guess I, I joined kind of late because I've been uh, uh, doing stuff around the house today. But I assume everybody gave the key to the city to you guys and did some like you know sappy. Oh. Actually, they they yeah. mostly gave it to Batman and Robin Santa and Santa Claus. So you know, if you want to give us another one, you can. But if you have anything else you want to, okay, you well know, yeah, give I a mean, key to the uh, city too. I think I mentioned this in the Discord before, but um, the beginning of the pandemic was like a super weird time, and that first episode that you guys yeah. did in the pandemic was uh really helped kind of ground me in, and uh make it realize like okay well like not everybody is is going insane so uh, i guess key of the city to uh brian and garrett who are the guests on that show so yeah yeah <laughs> yeah that was definitely a crazy one yeah weird times yeah uh and of course i, I do have to mention that when i started listening as a 31 year old disney adult now i'm a 35 year old disney adult so that's, uh, uh, stop. Wow. I wish people would <laughs> stop saying their ages on this episode. Uh, Spaghetti called in earlier. He said he started listening to us when he was 15. I know that he's still a little bit younger, but 
time passing as people are listening uh, is like yeah oh, i mean man. i was 26 now i was I'm 25 or 26 yeah you must be and now i'm 32 yeah. yeah that's fucked man that's so fucked it's crazy <laughs> i like, hate it i mean like to think of how much of my 20s and early 30s has been structured around like doing the show every right week. right oh, i can't hang out i got the podcast you know usually it was like i didn't want to go anyway right so it's like oh, I, I can't go i got a podcast to do so or like especially when i had like clients that wanted to like work out like thursday evenings and i'd be like no i can't i'm podcasting and yeah. they'd be like what what's your podcast and i'd be like uh, it's an alt right show where we talk about uh cancel culture and they'd be like mm, check please yeah yeah, it sounds like the next Texas, step is you guys moving to Austin, Texas, then, right? Hang out with Joe Rogan. I'm but, yeah, I think it's so. Yeah, yeah, Austin. That's where. Uh, that's where the whole crew um, is. We're all heading down that way. We're all racist now. <laughs> we weren't before, but now we are. All right. Well, right on. I, I open with a cliche talking about the uh, company you keep things. So I'll end on one too. Uh, age is a state of mind. So uh, that's fair. All right. Well, okay. I, I feel. Now, when I was 30, I was panicking, but now that I'm 32, I'm much older, much wiser, and I can agree with that. No, yeah, absolutely. It's like, I, I still feel pretty good. Grant, you keep yourself in good shape, so uh, I'm Thank sure you. you'll be uh, kicking ass long into your 33rd year, and maybe maybe even a few years after that, too. So. Maybe. <laughs> no, all right. Uh, for, for real, the, the podcast maybe. is awesome, and you guys are awesome, so uh, I'll jump on, or jump off and let everybody else finish up, so. All right, thank you. Right, thank you Appreciate so you. Okay. Bye. Take it easy. Um, dramatically, Red Wins go. All right, uh, unmute uh, hey. yourself. There you go. It's a Hello. L- long time writer, first time caller. How's it going? How are you? How are you doing? Uh, very well. Uh, Grant, I love how much you've hated this episode so far. It's uh, honestly been in the top three for me. I've really enjoyed this I'm ha- episode. I'm hamming it up a little. I know. You know, but yeah. Uh, my key to the city, by the way, is to Barry's. Uh, Barry's longtime friend oh, of the yeah. podcast. Barry's and Cream, yeah. Uh, yeah. Friend of He's mine, great. great artist, uh, fantastic. Uh, did a podcast yeah. with her, which was taken right down here. by Low Tier God. Yeah. Got a Barry sticker. Uh, if anyone can see on my laptop right here, I have uh, no idea, the but... bottom left is a Barry sticker. It's the. Can you read the? It's the Scrappy Doo. On March 10th, 1983, Scrappy Doo was gunned down in the streets of Brazil by a rival drug cartel. A lot of good stickers, a lot of good art. Yeah. For a number of different po- good podcasts. Check her out. Uh, yeah, buy Berries products. Buy Berries. Good for you. Uh, I also, I, I liked listening to uh, Grant talk about his uh, anarchist beliefs finally. Uh, you've been oh, holding man. that back so deep inside. I could tell just how much you wanted to yell about Noam Chomsky every episode. Have I not done that before? Yeah, but not enough. Like That's I read fair. manufactured con- consent. It's yeah. long, and I feel like I should be rewarded for that with more anecdotes. I mean, yeah, that's uh that's fair. Um I don't know. I've I've read a lot of stuff. Um Emma, Emma Goldman's good. Goldman? Goldman. Emma Goldman's uh, I, good. I don't think I've read that. I I'm mostly into Sapolsky right now, like all his Stanford lectures that are I don't know who YouTube. that is. That's the type of shit. Um uh, if you look Stanford lectures up on YouTube, he's always the first guy who shows up. You've probably heard him. Like you'll recognize him if you hear him. I probably uh I actually I think I know who you're talking about. Um Yeah. Emma Goldman's good. Uh, I've read some Rosa Luxemburg. I've read some. Uh, I just like I, I. You know, here's here's the thing you can try in your life. Uh, not not just you dramatically, but just like and anybody, you can do this. You can just like read books, and you don't have to agree with them, and you can learn yeah. stuff. It's fantastic. I highly recommend it. Um, I've read fucking I don't know a lot of shit. I don't, follow me on Goodreads. Uh, if I can plug my favorite book of all time, yeah. it's Are We Smart Enough to Know How Smart Animals Are? And uh, my two minutes of hate is to Newt Gingrich, who uh, read my favorite book of all time. And his takeaway from that is, oh, I can use this to control people like monkeys. Jesus. Well, he's a peach, so I don't know. I'm trying to think of what other like political shit I've read. Um, Let it I've all out. It's your fucking, last chance. Uh, you know, especially if you're a white dude, uh, check out Bell Hooks. You know, that's good. 
that's less political. That's more like feminist, black feminist literature. Uh, I think that that's worth your time. Um, I'm actually going on my Goodreads right now. Currently reading a Bullshit Jobs, a theory by David Graeber. That's also good. Uh, I've read excerpts of that. That's good. Yeah. It was like originally like a New York Times article, I think. Um, And then he wrote a book about it. Um, Trying to think of what else. I don't want to fucking sit here and scroll for too long or anything. But yeah, uh, check out uh, Lenin. He's good. Check out uh, Karl Mark. He's also yeah, Mark, good. Mark's wrote a little, not a lot. He wrote a little. Um, seeing if there's anything else. Socialism, Utopian, and Scientific. You can check that out. That's by Angles. Mark, I, I'm always saying Mark's Angles. What, what is this? Geometry class? Uh, capitalist Realism by Fisher. That's good. All of Fisher's good. Um, you know, and again, you, you don't have to read these things and you don't have to agree with them, but you do have to read them, you know, because they're they're good. They they help you form like a little bit of a sense of knowledge outside of your own, you know, oh, I, I think this way and you go, oh, well, what if things were different? And then it's like, oh, yeah, no, I didn't think about that. Uh, Parenti, also good. Well, they don't um, want you to think about that. They don't want they they don't them. Those, they, they them don't, oh, don't yeah, want Grant. you to think about that. <laughs> they, I, I feel like you might be a little uh, wiser than me. I feel like you're informed. You read a lot. You definitely read more like physical books than I do. So who is they? Uh, I keep hearing about this they online. And if you could just elaborate for me, uh, the the billionaires. I'll say no more. You're you're trying to trap me. I know that you, I know what you're doing, but uh, you can't do it. They pay me if they fire. Like, come on, you're you're close. Listen, I'm not I'm not playing semantic games. I'm not an anti semantic. If that's what you No, I, I wasn't I wasn't trying to three parentheses. Oh, okay. Good. I'm I'm glad. I haven't seen that in a while. The uh Thank God. the echo, whatever they called it. Well no, because that shit's tiresome. Because uh you can just be a Nazi on Twitter now. You don't have to do the parenthesis thing anymore. Uh, you no. can just say what you mean. You don't need the dog whistle? No, there's okay. no more dog whistling online anymore. Okay. You just say it. It's just fine. Uh, I, I played a lot of RuneScape, and a guy came up to me once, and he gave me exactly one thousand nine, or sorry, fourteen eighty eight gold, like the fourteen eighty eight thing. Yeah, and it's not like an impressive amount of gold, but the whole reason they do that is it's a dog whistle to be like, oh, do you see like what I'm doing here? And the guy took me to the GE, showed me a bunch of people who have, like, millions of dollars in RuneScape currency, and it's just a bunch of, like, 4chan-style Nazis sitting around the Grand Exchange running a bunch of RuneScape bots. So those are the guys in control. Those are the they of the RuneScape economy. Oh, just a bunch of Nazis. Okay. Oh. Well, I'm, I'm glad to... I also used to uh, play RuneScape, but I don't think that I ever ran into Nazis on RuneScape, but... Guess you weren't they, they use dog whistles so they don't get banned. Well, now they're now they're all just on Twitter. They're also bots, and they're also saying, you know, the most. It was better shit, when they so. gave you gold instead of just tweeted us. Uh, yeah, man. Like, at least give me some fucking points for having to put up with you. You know, that's a good solution to that problem. You know, like if that's a two minutes of hate, like, like give me at least give me something that's worth my time. Give me gold. Give me literally something. For me having to put up with your bullshit, you know? Seems fair. Don't just fucking spew it at me. Make it worth my while, you know? A, a lot of them are um, libertarians. Shouldn't they offer you, like, a shred of Bitcoin or something for putting up with their lecture? I think I think gold is... Uh, I, I guess gold or Bitcoin, either which way, but... Dramatically, do you have a key to the city? <sighs> uh, it was berries. Oh, berries, yeah. Duh. Do you have a second one? No, I'm just kidding. You don't have to. Um, well, uh, no, I'm I'm quite good. Thank you for having me. Yeah, on thanks your for final yeah. Episode. Thank you uh, for supporting us for so many years. It means a lot. Yeah. Um, you know, that's enough that, said. <laughs> enough said. Going, good, good luck to you guys. Uh, thank, thank you. you. Thank appreciate you. Appreciate it. Yeah, we've been going nearly three hours at this point. We're at like two. Yeah, yeah. Let's uh, let's. Anybody else? I don't in know here? if anybody. Um. I'm going to read this email unless you want to, Kevin. Um, let me see. Okay, I can read it here. Yeah. 
This comes from Michael. Uh, Hello, Thought Cops. I first want to apologize for not being able to finish writing slash recording a voicemail with Peter Griffin. I wanted to make it as funny as possible, and after days of trying to make it work, it just wasn't clicking. That was, uh, if I can cut off real quick, uh, yeah. we were talking about like uh, top moments. Uh, the full Family Guy episode oh, yeah. uh, that was uh, left as a voicemail was also definitely towards, towards the top ranking of best moments in show. That was hilarious. It just kept going. Like <laughs> the whole, like, it was a whole audio, ass yeah, a whole episode. episode yeah. Uh, but uh, he says, what matters is to thank you guys. I just want to thank you for all the hours of entertainment that you guys put out. And thank you for liking my silly voicemails. I just hope I made you guys laugh as much as I laughed at your guys' show. Oh, my key you. to the city this week will go to Asterios for introducing me to the show. You guys have the best guests, the best segments, and the best episodes from any podcast out there. You guys deserve better and hope everything works out for you. Thank you. I don't want to waste any more of your time. So I just want to say thank you again. Thank you. Thank you. Michael. Thank you. We do deserve better. And we actually, uh, I own Netrunner left a voicemail. We could play that. Oh, yeah. Um, do you want me to? Did we play the fourth? I don't think we played this fourth voicemail. It's the final episode of Thought Cops. All right. Hey, guys. It's hey. me. just want to say I appreciate what you guys have done. You guys have had a great show. You had some cool guests. I've really enjoyed listening to you guys. You know, it's real fun. It was a fun time. But all things must come to an end, as as we all know. So just make sure you guys have a good life. Stay in good health. Thank you. And, um... See your asses on down the road, I guess. <laughs> Bye. Thank See you. ya. Thank See you. Ya. Thank you. See you later. Kind words. Kind words. All right. Uh, should I play the IO Nut Runner final? Yeah, because I don't think anybody else is wanting to call in. So, right. and we're nearing three hours. Yeah, let's It'll let's play good. that. And we'll give our final I keep, thoughts. I keep hiding decision. that I'm yawning. <laughs> Woo! Thanks a lot, Celsius. Fucking Ugh. bullshit. This is not a. You don't hey guys, get that product placement. Not anymore. Not Pretty after good. what you've done. I just want to get right into it. My key to the city is the Thought Cops Discord. Uh, no, no, no. Discord, Discord. Give it a second here. <laughs> yeah, I love it. I mean, obviously, like you guys are saying, we did the Discord news. Uh, I met, you know, some great friends here. Uh, Yosef and, uh, Sleep Science, you know, I play D&D with Sleep Science now, you know, like, we hang out outside of this Discord. Uh, yeah, it's been great. Had a lot of fun in here. Okay, so okay. That's, not a, that's not a voicemail, that's he sent us his audio file. I see. Afterwards, because you remember I said, yeah, hey, I, if everyone right, could send right, us... That's... Oops! Whoopsie, okay, whatever. I'm just gonna, uh, go ahead and... Couldn't, couldn't be a Thought Cops episode without some sort of major stupid goof up. Yeah, that's what the people love. That's why they right. listen for so many years. Yep. I have a key to the city, Grant. Go for it. Can I see the key, please? Yeah. Just don't put it on the table. You okay. don't want to scratch the table. But other than that. All right. My final key to the city. This comes to us from our dear friend Martin Felschman, who made this wonderful uh, keyblade to yeah. Neo Chicago. We're going to have to ceremoniously burn that. My key to the city. I'm just kidding. We'll keep it. Good. I, key to the city goes to you, Grant. Oh, thank you. Here you go. Oh, shit. Take, just take this back. Okay. Was that it? I have been involved in many projects in my life. I This is not my first rodeo. This is not my first podcast. And it's hard to find somebody who has a good work ethic and has a good sense of humor and a good uh, general head on their shoulders. So, Grant, after doing the show with you for seven years... Uh, it's been a wild ride. I know we've uh, had our frustrations we've doing the had show. Our differences. We've we've had a lot of great times too. We've had a lot of you know, we've you know. I I feel like oftentimes I would I, I would like go to a party with comedy people and they'd be like, "Where's Grant?" I'm like, <laughs> I, I don't know. I, don't I know. went to Aaron Klopfer's birthday uh, a couple of weeks ago, and he was like, "Yeah, I always love uh, getting you guys to come out." And I was like, oh, because we were hermits. And he's like, no, because I like you guys. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. No, but I think um, 
you know, you and I have kind of kept each other in check for a long time. Yeah, for sure. And I think that the show would not have lasted as long with somebody who did not have the same uh, level of commitment and passion for making things. And I know you're a very creative person. And, you know, I that's the reason why I said, hey, we should do a podcast. Yeah. And you said, hey, I have an idea for one. And we did one. Um, you know, I think that you and I previous to the show got along very well. So I thought that would be a very good idea. Yeah. Um, very thankful we did. And I think that, uh, you know, again, uh, you know, I saw your determination for doing this stuff and coming in every week and it'll be, okay, I'll do it. And I think I hopefully kept you in check the same mm -hmm. way. Oh, I, I definitely um, think so. I mean, I think that this has been a very successful partnership. And again, like to the extent that we recreate this, I don't, I don't want to, <laughs> but like, I, I would like to continue working together with oh, you yes, yes. in some capacity doing something i again I, I don't fucking know but again sort of like what you're saying you know if i can also give you the key uh, to the yes. city we can we can How share, predictable. we can share yes. um we can share uh like what do, what do you call it custody we can share custody yes. you you'll get you know a couple weekends and then i'll switch i'll take weekends we can sort of uh flip flop for holidays uh with whatever but yeah i mean you know, uh, to to the effect of you know what you're saying. I also appreciate you as a working partner and everything. And uh, I think, yeah, without without both of us sort of being able to, you know, pick up where the other leaves off and vice versa. Yes, and, you 100%, know, one hundred percent. Yes, you know, do do that and have like both of our styles sort of complement each other and have Zwick sort of like manage things and you know, uh just be there and for everyone to sort of like contribute in the way that everyone's contributed. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, I'm, I, I really am trying not to think of this as like a sad thing that this is like an ending to something because it's like, we did this for however long and like we were, you know, successful in our own way about doing it. And then as a result, we have all these people calling in saying what good of people we are. And I like, that's crazy you know like that doesn't make sense to me like on paper it it makes sense but it's like i just don't i don't get it you know i don't yeah. understand it it just it feels like this weird thing where it's like when i i feel like when people talk about me or this or us it's just like this third thing and i'm existing in the shell just sort of like witnessing it and it's like oh that's nice what those people are saying about those people and it's like oh those people are me that's crazy you know, mm -hmm. and I, I think like yeah, like there was a lot of times where I would see okay, I look damn Grant's doing a lot for this thing. I better you know I better give it my all too, or put right. myself into this. And I think like if it were not for that, I think we kind of kept each other in check similarly in some ways. And yeah. I think if, if it wasn't for that, the show would never have gone on past I don't know six months. Right. <laughs> so, I mean, there were definitely periods yeah. I feel like when you were just like. Hey, I got to dip back, and I was like, "Cool, I'll do this, mm -hmm. this, this." And, and that's this. yeah, like, it's been and very understanding. Were other times yeah, yeah. Where you know, I was just like, "I can't fucking do this," and you were just like, "Don't, I'll do this." And mm -hmm. we were, I think, good about working together in terms of like who's editing, who's posting, who's whatever, you know, sort of yeah, thing. And yeah. it's just, yeah, I mean, it's it's been great, and you know, as much as it it sucks to see this end, I I feel like it's the right call, and I feel like people you know will miss it and whatever but it's like there's there's a reason for it and whatever and i do i do just feel like the reason is because we want to do more yeah you know i mean truly there's, yeah there's so much more than i want to do and like maybe there's avenues of like things that i've talked about on this show where it's like i would like to take that somewhere else and do something else with it and maybe some other aspects where it's like we should do more of this and like i don't know i think we got to figure that out but it's like i'm not you know, this whole time, it's like, I'm not sad about it being over because I'm literally just thinking like, what else can we do? What, what haven't we done? And like, what more can I sort of tap into? And I, I just would like for this to be like, maybe a new starting point for like new shit. And that's, I that think is so. How I, I feel think it can be, it, you know? Yeah, I do. I do think it can be, but, uh, well, I think that's all about all the calls and the voicemails we have. So yeah. I just want to say, um, what do I say? I, I think that, like, you know, 
uh, I'm I am really going to miss this. Yeah. Um, you know, it's it's meant a lot. Ah, oh, jeez. <laughs> Have some water. You want some water? Yeah, sure. No, it's meant a lot to me. And um, you know, I I will miss it greatly. So um, you know, to everybody who has uh, supported us over the years, it means a lot to me. Um, you know, this this show has meant a lot to me, and uh, you guys are awesome. And you know, I'm not going anywhere. Grant's not going anywhere. But uh, you know, it's um, mm-hmm. it it's been it's meant so much to me that people have watched and listened to this over the years. So, um, thank you so much. Yeah. Uh, spaghetti in the chat said this show made family guy funny. So <laughs> that was not my intention. Dramatically red says this has been the best two white guys podcast. Jab wants to see us hug. We don't, we don't have to do that. I, Shake your hand, Grant. All right, we can do we can do a handshake here All right. for the camera. You can see that? Let's see, there we go. All right. <sighs> well, oh, just like the meme. You know, uh, no, it wasn't just the Malork talk, and I I knew I was going to be sad on this show, and I think that uh, I'm surprised I'm not more sad. You know? I, I I think I don't know. It's like I said, I I just come on here and show mode or whatever but like you know um it, it, it's been it's you know you guys you guys are the fucking best uh i would not have kept doing it if people were not looking forward to it and enjoying it yeah you know um anyway as at the risk of rambling on too long um i mean um i don't know i feel like i had one other thing in my head um Nope, I think it's gone. I think I'm just fucking. <laughs> what a I'm, note to I'm end spacey. it on. It's three fucking hours worth of talking uh, about this shit. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, I I think you know. Ever since, um, I I think you know. I I make no uh no secret of the fact that like when I was growing up as a child, uh, I was not the happiest of children. Um. I think I, I think I tried to be, and I think uh, I just didn't. I didn't have a lot of like good shit sometimes, you know. And one of my one of my things that I think like really helped me. This is gonna. I'll, I'll just be. This will be like the the final like cheesy moment of the show or whatever. Um, because I, you know, I I think that this is something that I've always sort of like tried to achieve, and to the level that I've been able to, I. I don't know. I, I like, you know, I, I think that this show has always been an expression of what I'm talking about um, to the extent that I'm capable of doing it. And I don't, I don't know if I've succeeded in that. Maybe that'll be like in the next venture. Maybe I can talk more about it. Maybe I can do more about it. I, I don't know. I don't, but um, you know, throughout a lot of like my early years, I was not fucking very happy and uh i'm still not haha <laughs> and uh you know i i think when i started getting into music um the, one of the reasons that i liked playing music and i, I don't even know I, I was never like a fucking music nerd and i i dislike pretension surrounding like oh you listen to this and you don't like i always hated that shit like yeah. that, that's not what fucking like what what got to me was i would be fucking listening to the smashing pumpkins at the age of like 14 or 15 and i would be like the they fucking get it like they they get something about like whatever it is i'm feeling and i'm experiencing they get some level of about it and it's not about like the fucking notes that are being played and it's not about like whatever but like this is reaching me on a level that nothing else is and i'm grateful that like art exists so that this can happen to me so i feel less alone in the fucking world and from that point on, I was like, I want to be a musician and whatever. And I, I like wasn't fucking successful at it because I don't know if I'm good at it. Uh, and I, I do feel like that mentality did bring me to doing this. And I like it's it's the similar expression of like, I just I hope that like by us doing this, 
that someone listened to this and you know we we joke about like oh uh whatever types of uh relationships you have with fans what do you call that like parasocial, parasocial yeah. relationships oh whatever but it's like there there is part of me that the, the whole reason that i fucking want to do this is because i also want people to feel like fucking you're not alone in the universe and like as mm-hmm. cheesy as it fucking sounds to say that there's some sort of like an, an emotional thread that we do this show for that is supposed to be more than just like joking about fucking the m&ms and twitter and like all this stupid shit like it is the the expression of it for me has always been like how do i tap into this and like whether or not i've been successful with that I don't know. It's nice to hear everybody say all this like nice stuff about us and whatever. And there, there's part of me that still like doesn't believe it. <laughs> uh, but, you know, I, I just hope that this has been something for people and, you know, like within our own lives, because w- without like the existence of like art and music and podcasting, as stupid as it is, if it like brings people together, then it's doing what it was fucking supposed to. And, you know, it, to to the extent that we've been able to do this for people in some sort of way you know when when people do say like oh i was at a low point and then yeah that's you like know, whatever, I, I, that makes me like, feel I'm good i'm glad that i yeah. was able to fucking mm-hmm. do that for someone you know i 100 percent choking up like that that's been the whole fucking thing is like I'm, I'm glad that like for maybe someone this made their day a little bit brighter because that's that's the fucking reason we're doing it. One hundred percent. Yeah, it's like especially during like the pandemic, like when some people said shit, like, you know, I look forward to this every week. Yeah. Things are hard, but I look forward to this little right. show every week, and like that was enough for me to be like, okay, I will be there. I yeah. will be there every yeah. time. Um. So yeah, I mean, I you know, it's it's a uh, stepping stone to something else, but yeah. it's like. And for as as sort of uh, funny and trivial as and small as this, you know, sometimes we we pay lip service to like, oh, it's just whatever, a stupid podcast or two stupid white dude podcast or whatever. It's like, yeah, no, but like, you know, again, the the fact that there's so many people that are calling in and so many people that have made friends as a result of this and all that is really just a testament to the the work that we've put in. And like, again, just so long as like, it's made the world hopefully a little bit better of a place than it's, it's all been worth it to me. Yeah. You know, so Agreed. I guess on that note, I'm out of things to say. Uh, yeah. Again, like, thank you guys so much for seven years of the show. It's surreal to say that it's over now. Uh, but you know, I'm, I'm, there'll be more stuff. There'll be more. That's why it's like, I, it's like, we're not just disappearing. It's like, it's like, right. I, there's more to come, but at the same time, it's, you know, we're, we're closing the book on, you know, for me, this has been a big part of my life. So, yeah. you know, this is going to be, you know, I, I hope you guys follow us wherever we, wherever we go from here. And, uh, we have more, so much more to share with you all, but, uh, I guess I'll say, see, I'll see you space cop. No, that's not good. Oh, that's good. No, that's, that's stick your with thing. That yeah. No, no you that's... can also do that. See you. I'll no fuck it. I'll see you on the other side. <laughs> Wherever that's going to be, right. we'll be there. Thank you guys so much for supporting the show, for listening to this long episode, for hanging out if you called in. Uh, and if you missed it, uh, we're still around. Just tweet at us. You, yeah, you didn't miss anything. It's yeah. fine. All right. All right. See you, space cop. There. All right. Thank you, guys. Thought cops aren't real, Morty. Hey, it's me, Zwick, the editor. How's it going? So, uh, the podcast is ending, and uh, I'm very ill-prepared. I'm kind of going off the off of the dome, off the top of the head, so please forgive the jump cuts. So first, I do want to plug some things before this uh, officially ends, you know, just to make sure everything's on the right track. Before I do that, I do want to apologize for this uh, podcast for taking so long. A lot of it was because I was uh, busy. But a dumber and gayer thing that I was going through is, uh, I knew the podcast was going to end when, uh, like, uh, I finished editing it. And, uh, that definitely led to me dragging my feet on that. So I do apologize. Uh, I've been working on this podcast for a long time. Like, I haven't been here from the beginning. I want to make that clear, but I've been with these boys for a while. And although I do think it's best that we, 
do end the podcast like I'm in agreement with both of them. Uh, I'm still going to miss it. I'm going to miss it a lot. Working with them has given me a lot of opportunities that I don't think I would have had otherwise, and it's greatly appreciated. I will miss this show. That's it. All right. That's it. That's it. That's all I got. I'll miss you guys. But now, now, now to transition from being sappy to plugging stuff, I can do this. First off, I'm uploading videos on YouTube again. Basically, I'm taking my Twitch streams and then I'm uploading them to YouTube. So here's a sample. I, I like the idea where you, like after game? after every like stream or every hangout, you have to go to your wife and you're like crying. And you're like, what's wrong, sweetie? It's just like they kept bullying me for being straight. <laughs> Listen, you fucking straggler. They can't make it fucking straight. <laughs> you fucking, fucking breeder. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. oh <laughs> listen to this fucking breeder swag. Can you believe he had sex with women? Oh. It's, it's hard enough being a white man in America. I, bringing... I just get me and my dumb friends, and we say dumb things, and it's fun. Like I said, I take the Twitch stuff, and then I take all the funny stuff out, and I put it on YouTube. So be sure to subscribe to that. I'll pretty much just upload when I can. If you need something to eat lunch to for 20 minutes, there you go. Second, and very important, the most important, Kevin and a bunch of ex-writers from Hard Drive have started their own thing with Blackjack and Hookers. It's called Pallet Swap. Look into it. Uh, I'll, like I said, I'll have the uh, YouTube linked in the thumbnail. Also, consider donating to the patronage at Pallet Swap. I want this to succeed. And now that it's out, and people know about it, unlike when it was recorded and it was still under wraps. Go for it. Go. Have fun. Um, and yeah, that's it. Again, sorry I was dragging my feet for being sad and busy. Um, looking forward to what the future brings, and uh, I guess have a good one. See you later. Whoa, 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 wait. Hold on. Don't stop listening to the podcast. It's not over yet. I'm so sorry to have to keep doing this to everyone uh i didn't know we were doing plugs uh zwick did uh these plugs and then uh i also have something that i've been working on myself that i figure if those two get their plugs i mean i i should be able to plug something right so obviously go follow pallet swap like zwick said go follow zwick like zwick said and uh go follow me over on youtube on a channel called Reeducationing. Now I've done a couple Reeducationing videos on the Thought Cops YouTube channel, um, but this will be its own separate thing. It might be a little bit similar, but probably better. Um, so the the URL you're going to want to go to is YouTube.com/slash/at Reeducationing, and you can follow me there. I got a couple videos that are uh, to be released. And uh, one promo video that I'll probably release um, by the time that this episode is out. So uh, please follow me on there. Follow everybody else everywhere else. Thank you guys for listening. Uh, th this is it now. There's no more. That That's it. This is the end. Thank you. Bye. Bye.